Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hi. We're back. We're back. We're back. How's for it sure, going? For sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. What does T usually say? I have no idea. I don't do her part. I can't remember her part. You guys, what's T's part? We're back, we're back, we're back. And then what do I say? Oh my God, I'm like lost. <laughs> She's not here. <laughs> I can't remember. What does she say, you guys? What does she say? Help me, I need help. We're I back. don't know. No, she says, oh, she says, hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Jen Bennett. She says, hello, hello, hello. And I say, we're back, we're back, we're back. There and you then, go. And then you say... For sure. For, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. Totally like <laughs> Carrie, <laughs> Carrie going slapping her forehead. Oh, Donna, 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 Donna. She's saying already. You guys, thanks for coming in. I know a lot of you probably were over at Teas with Mr. Buys a lot. And I went over there this afternoon. I did really good. It was really great. Did they go off? Are they still on? I didn't even check. I think they're done. Are they done? Okay. I should have probably checked. Um, so did you guys see my thumbnail thrift shop closed? I, I did that because a lot of shops are closing like around the country. So I thought I would just go on tonight. Mama G is going to help me and we're going to do $5 starts. We're going to do $5 starts and we're going to break all the rules. We're going to do $1 increments. They just finished up. Okay. Shriker. Thank you. Hey, Ed, T says, hello, hello, hello. Now they just signed off and move over to you. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Hey, Harley Kitten. Hello, Mary Ness. Hello, you guys. Thanks for coming in, Heidi. Christine Rose and Dar. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for joining us. Hoover's, Corgus, and Coin. First time in from misters oh thank you so i'm sure you registered over there so we'll see if um t jumps in hi kelly hello james cisco hit the thumbs up for donna guys thanks james thank you so much for reminding everyone um mama g do you remember hoover's name from over at mr buys a lot yes mr buys a lot does have his information um okay. not positive as if t does but are right. you okay with sharing it mr hoover I'm okay with um, getting it from Mr. Buys a lot too. Hi, Scott. Hey, how are you? you yes, I just a couple, couple of days, days ago. ago. Okay, awesome. Very good. Hi, Tony Dodge. Wonder Woman, Lava Lamp. Incredible tonight, isn't it? It's been going all day. That's why it's like so like slow motion. I love it. I love my gift from my friend Christopher Chatworth. Oh my gosh. It's like my favorite thing ever. My favorite thing ever. <laughs> That's fine. I'm a sister, not a mister. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, Hoovers. <laughs> Long time no see. Hi, Kyle. Kyle is registered, so I'm going to give you a yes. rest. Thrift sure. Hunter is registered with Brian. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you guys coming over here, but tonight's not like my typical, I'm not going to be doing like a, I, I, I'll do some, I, I'll do some lots. Yeah. I'll grab some lots, some reseller lots or some collections. I have lots of different collections, but, um, <clears throat> hi Janine. These people are all from Mr. Buys a lot. Mr. Buys a lot's awesome. Hello, Woodbine girl. You can call me Hoover. Okay. Awesome. Thanks Hoover. Thank you. I'm probably going to do just some $5 starts tonight. Um, just have it really light, um, not so crazy high numbers on lots and stuff. So, you know, I kind of like want to give people the opportunity who who only want to spend a few dollars, you know, here and there or buy something personally from, from themselves. You need to sell something worth $1,101 and beat the record, right? No way. Hello, Vintage Memories. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Um, you know what? I think I'll, I think what I'll do is maybe, do you want to do this layout, Mama G, or do you want to be in the back back? You can just throw me in the back. I don't need my icon up there. They need to see what you're showing. Okay. Because I can still talk, right? 
Yes, you can still talk when you're in the back. Um, That's all we need. <clears throat> Thrift Hunter, yes, free shipping. Um, I do ask that the order reach $30 for free shipping. And those of you that have your coupons, don't forget, if you buy something tonight, you can use your coupon with a $25 purchase. The order has to re reach $30 for, three sh uh, for free shipping, and that is a combined order within you know, a two or three week span. If you see something and you buy it and you want something like, for example, if you see a pair of jeans or a shirt or something that I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be showing some designer clothes this evening. Um, you can certainly reach out to me and say, you know, I'll pay the $3 shipping if you can send it right away. So um, you have that option too. But $30, I will pay shipping. $30 order. I will pay shipping. Um, if that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. So um, thank you for those of you that have come over from Mr. Buys a Lot. I appreciate it. We'll just wait for a few more people to come in. Um, boy, those two hours. I got off of Mr. Buys a Lot at 6, 7, 8. It's 8 o'clock now. Those two hours went by so fast. Oh, thank oh. you, Thrift Hunter. Believe <laughs> it. Huh? I believe it. Oh my God. It went by so fast. I, I literally like, I laid down for like two seconds and then I was like, Oh, got to get together and move what I sold out of the studio room and bring new stuff into the studio room. And, um, yeah, so it was crazy. And what is Ed bidding on? He's like $5 right out of the gate. All right. Let's, uh, let's give you guys some deals before other people start rolling in. Uh, let's see. I am going to start with, I have this Star Wars. It's um, size large. St size large, $5 start. $5 start on the Star Wars. Here, let me put myself. It's brand new on full screen. There I am. Let me get my chat. Okay. Hi, Susan. Thank you for coming. Okay. Hi, Countess. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Okay, there it is. $5 start on the t-shirt. Wonder Woman comes in at five. Um, if you're bidding on something, you guys, hi, Joy. Hi, beautiful. Um, if you're bidding on something and you decide you're done bidding, just type in out and we'll move on. Is my picture kind of weird tonight? Mama G, it's not G bad. Oh, okay. I thought maybe I couldn't hear you. Kyle comes in at seven. Thank you, Kyle. Star Wars size large. Wonder Woman is out. Kyle is at seven. Who else was bidding? Ed Jafrida's out. Out. Okay, Kyle gets it. Let's count it down. Do you want me to do twice and all that, or just put sold? Um, I think that we'll do going once and sold, just to give okay. people just a second to just think about it. Just going once and then just sold. Um, Mama G, what lot was this for me? 14? 13. 13, thank you. And it sold for seven. Star Wars. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. All right. One down. I have this. It's going to be a $5 start. I don't know what's in there. Just a bunch of stuff. Bunch of Legos. $5 start. How come Kyle is saying on two items? I don't know. Striker comes in at five. Striker's at 10. I don't know if there's people in here or not. This is the way I found it. This is the way I'm bringing it to you. 
you're going to, those of you that are new, you're going to learn that about me. I just kind of just bring things without even looking at them. I put a bunch of money on a plate with a cricket on it. <laughs> she convinced us all <laughs> to spend money over there. Cow, you're so funny. <laughs> Leslie's in at 20. Strikers at 22. They bought two items for 1150 over there. He sold another item for um, 1100. I don't know that one. Okay, strikers at 22. I've got Wonder Woman and Leslie out, so I'm going once. Yep. For the Legos. And we're sold. For $22. Yes, we are. Okay. Um... For those of you that are new to my channels, some of you that have been around know, I have, um, you can send me an email, Mama G, if you want to put the email down. I was going to bring it to auction today. I was going to bring it to Mr. Buys a lot, and then I decided not to. Um, okay. I was thinking maybe bringing it tonight, but I decided not to. And the reason why I decided not to is because the boxes are really huge. I have... Um, I have Star Wars starships, like really, really big ones. And I think I have like eight of them. They're mostly put together, but there are some pieces in the box and I want to sell the entire collection. Um, I was going to post it on eBay and I just don't have the time. So if anybody is a Star Wars collector, please get in touch with me because I would love to sell them. They are awesome. Right, Heidi? They're actually in one of my videos um, on my channel. You can go see them on one of my videos when I was un un unboxing them. When I tell you they're huge and some of them sell on eBay in the hundreds of dollars, um, they're rare, they're old, and they're they're basically, they're complete, but from shifting them from one place to another, I have two huge boxes with the starships in them. Um, I mean, I could probably go get one or two just to give you an idea, but if... Um, are they I'm trying to find the video with... Um they're in there, and that should be the one with you and Chris, and I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's the one with me and Chris. Um, are they Lego, Star Wars, or Kenner? Hmm, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know the answer to that question, but I have one of them, like, right outside the store. Should I go get one and just show them? Yes, if you have one, absolutely. Okay, because I was going to bring them to Mr. Buys a lot, and then I changed my mind. I do believe that they're Lego brand as well. And most of them um, that I looked up were from the Star Wars. I can't remember now. Of course, I'm going to go blank. But we'll see when she gets them here. I honestly don't know, Ed. I'm not sure. I think they're more from the 90s than the 70s, though. So. 
so when I got these, they literally came from a collector who decided they weren't going to collect them anymore. I have all the pieces. Um, this is one of the starships. You can see it's massive. Yeah, that's the big triangle one that's supposed to go for quite a bit of money, I think. Okay, so there's that. Lynn, I just grabbed another one. So, but here's the problem, you guys. So, from moving them from like the storage unit into the truck to the house, pulling them out, presenting them, putting back in, some of the pieces have fallen off of them. So, but I have all the pieces, they're in the box. So, you really need to like know what you're doing, put them back together to sell them on eBay or whatever you're going to do with them. So, I wanted to show them to you. UPS them over, right, Striker? I wanted to show them to you. I would love to take an offer on them. I'd love to Ed, sell them. Ed said, text me with everything you've got. It's a lot, Ed. It is a lot, Ed. It's a lot. It's two huge boxes. I think it's like seven or eight destroyers. Yes. Yes, not all destroyers. They're all different types of the the flying apparatus. I was gonna lay them all out on the driveway and just take a picture and just post it on eBay as a you know auction item. Right, right. But how long ago did I get those, Mama G? I just found it one month ago. One, I I've been sitting on them for a month. It's time for them to go. I, they gotta go. They got. They gotta go. They do not have any of the boxes. They no. do not have any of the manuals. No. I am dropping a link right now. That is the the video of Donna and Chris looking at them and unloading them. If you guys want to go back and mark that for later and, to look at. And I've sold two. I've sold two of them, but two smaller ones. And they both sold for about $100 each. I think one sold for like $160. The, the other one with all the men sold for 160. 160, yeah. So I've sold two out of the collection. Two are gone out of the collection. I just got rid of a lot of them. Take pictures of them on the driveway and send me a picture. Okay, Ed. Yeah, and there's thanks, thanks, Mama G. You're so good. You're welcome. With um with finding. So if anybody else is interested, please either text me. Um, I'm gonna put my phone number in the chat. I welcome anyone to text me. It's actually the best way to get in touch with me. Um, I will respond to text right away. Um, sometimes email, I, I, I don't respond so quickly to, but text messages, I I will respond right away. Hi, Sandy Kirk. Welcome in. Anyway, just go check out that video to see what she's got. If she doesn't have time to lay everything out, and then you guys would be able to see. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the video and um, two of them sold. So, okay. So that's that. Um, it's quite a collection. It's like, it's honestly, it'd be like a collector's dream to get it. Um, okay. Here's a Disney shirt. It's a youth men's small $5 start on the Disney shirt. It has the tag on it. It's new with the tag. $5 start on the Disney shirt. It's a youth men. So a youth men would be like a, like a 14 year old boy or like a 12 year old boy. Is that what you probably? Mean? Yeah. So probably like between nine and 12, depending on the size of the, um, the child. Um, and this one is Disney, right? Yeah. I just read it and I already forgot. Okay, <laughs> Disney. I know. It's crazy. Five dollars to Joy Munkin. Are we going to sell it? Nobody else interested? We're going to sell it to Joy. All right, let's sell it. Okay, thank you. Um... All right, to Joy, $5. 
Five dollars for the Disney shirt. To Joy. Joy Munkin. Thank you, Joy. Twelve thirteen. Want number fifteen. Um so I'm trying to think of what other collections I can bring out that I have here that are easy to grab. <clears throat> Let's see, these are a pair of just old navy, loose, ample, size 4230, old navy, they're men's, old navy, $5 start, excellent condition, there's the bottoms, no fraying on them, size 4030, for a nice pair of jeans, $5 start. Let me know if anybody wants them. Forty thirty on the old navy jeans. Loose and ample. Loose and ample. What does that mean, loose and ample? Chubby? That means loose and ample fit. <laughs> um, as in they have plenty of room. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. No interest. We're going to pass on them. We're going to move along. Let's put these right over here. Okay. The next one I have is a polo by Ralph Lauren, a size extra large. It's a man style sweater, but doesn't mean a woman can't wear it because it is really attractive. Beautiful, bright red. Excellent condition. $5 start on the polo, Ralph Lauren. Size extra large. Andrea Baker. No other interest? We'll give it to Andrea. Nope, Mary Beth is at six. It's nice cotton. Let me see if I can tell you what the blend is. It feels like it's 100% cotton. Andrea, you want to come seven? There we go. Um, I don't see the blend. But it certainly feels like cotton. That's weird that there's no blend in it. Not even on a side tag? Nope. Hmm. Mary's at eight. Andrea, let us know. Thanks, Andrea. Andrea's out. Mary Ness gets them for eight dollars. Want number sixteen. Oh, I didn't do the once or twice. I just did the sold. And Sandy mm -hmm. Kirk is there. Sorry, Sandy. Sorry, honey. Sorry, sorry. We're just gonna move quick tonight. We're just going to move quickly along. Um, okay, I'm going to show you something really beautiful. It's going to have to be a $50 start because of the size of it. These came out of a million-dollar mansion. You know how I work with that Palm Beach estate lady? Yes. Okay. These uh, very, very wealthy people were getting rid of these, and they traveled all over the world. Um, I don't know what I have here. I can tell you that these are stones for sure. And this is all metal. And um, the inside of it is, I think, wood. So it looks like it's been wrapped. I wouldn't be surprised if they bought these in some other country. Yeah, they're really beautiful. There's the cover on them. And these are, and it's all stone and metal. And a couple of the stones have little tiny hairline cracks. You see, like, right there? But nothing yeah. offensive. Nothing offensive. And I don't know what kind of stones these are. I have no idea. But this is what I have. 
There's two of them and they're big and they're beautiful. Oh, wow. I know. They're really, really beautiful. Don't have any information on them. There's no maker's mark, which leads me to believe that they probably brought them home from some foreign country or right. have been shipped from far some foreign country because they don't say made in China or anything on them. So um, $50 is the start price. These are metal. The covers are metal. $50 is the start price on these two beautiful jars. I've had them sitting in my in my actual dining room for a while, and they, they match my decor beautifully, but I don't need them. They can go. Hi, Jade. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. Jade, look at these, how beautiful they are. They're not really Moroccan looking. I don't know. Maybe Moroccan looking. I'm not 100% sure. They are. Aren't they beautiful? They are. They're really pretty. Woodbine girl. I'm sure they paid a pretty penny for them. Perlini says, no room in my house. Well, they do look really pretty on my credenza. Okay, should we pass? Let's pass them. Okay. We'll bring them another night if there's no interest. Ooh, and they're heavy. I think they're wood. You know, because of all those that stonework on them, it makes right. them so heavy. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have a Wait. pair. Can you pass it? Christopher, I knew you'd love those. I'll sell them to Christopher. I love Christopher. He's one of my besties, customers, and become friend. You want them, okay. Christopher? All right, let's give them to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. And we are selling lot number, well, Paul just came in for 55. Oh, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Let me go get them. <clears throat> Not that they're far, they're right here under my desk. <laughs> Christopher's at 60. Like I said, I checked all the stones on them and they're in excellent condition. Paul's at 65, Christopher's at 70. I'm so lucky I have this connection with this woman. I get the most amazing stuff. Right. I have to show you a vase. Hold on while they're bidding on it. Okay. My son looked it up. Oh, I think I showed it to you guys. Thanks, Vintage Treasures. I'm going once. Twice now. I did. I remember showing it to you guys. Massimo looked this up. I still haven't listed it. Can you believe I haven't listed it? Like you're probably thinking she's crazy not listing that. This is that beautiful vase with the designer on it. Someone in the chat looked it up for me. There's the name on it. Ooh. Mario. I can't remember what it was, but look at this. This came out of the same house. Just to give you an idea, this, which is listed on eBay for over $2,000, came out of the same house that these vases came out of. Wow. Yeah. So these people are like big money people. Did we sell it to Christopher? We did for 70 All right. Awesome. That will help cover some of the shipping. Um, so 18, Christopher, I had it at 17. You have it at 18, um, 17. Oh no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. I had already written it down and then, okay. Paul, and then Paul came in. Okay. No, Just you're right. Sure. Yep. No, my mistake. Oh, Boston. That's my attack dog. Not really. It's just an Australian Shepherd. Okay. So, um, all right. Let's bring back these jeans. These uh, Ralph Lauren polo jeans. They are size. 
They are size five dollars start on these also, and they are forty thirty two. Forty thirty two, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's that's so beautiful. I need to get that listed. Oh, just not enough hours in the day. Forty thirty two. Excellent condition. Polo jeans. Ralph Lauren. Five dollars start for the jeans. I mean, you can't even go into a thrift shop and buy a pair of polo jeans for $5. My thrift shop has, like, jeans. There's the bottom. Excellent wear. Like, $12, $15, $20 for used jeans. It's insane, the prices that they charge. It's crazy. Kelly comes in at 5 It is. It's just crazy. All right. Let's do it. Let's give them to Kelly. Kelly wants them. Polo, jeans. Kelly, let's sell it. Still too short, Christine says. All right. We'll see if we can find you a longer pair. All right, that goes to Kelly. Those are going to Kelly's house. All right, let's see what we have here. We have Mario. Mario 1992 2XL, $5 start, brand new. $5 start on the Mario shirt. Excuse me. Lot number 19. It's Samario. Yeah, have rise up at seven. Ed, you're you're lagging, honey. He's lagging. Can you type it in for me, Mama G? Mm -hmm. Ed, that he's lagging so he can refresh. We won't close it until he comes back. There we go. Thank you, Ed. At Thrift Hunter at 10. Rise up at 12. Ed's out. Thrift Hunter at 14. Thank you, Perlini. Rise up is out. We have thrift, thrift Hunter. Three he's R. not done yet. He's not done yet. Oh, he's not? No, because I just bid. Oh, you just bid? <laughs> yep. Mama G. It's a nice gift for my son-in-law. Sorry. We'll see. Okay, you can have it for 25. Uh, thank you, Thrift Hunter. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Thrift Hunter. All right. Next, 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 next. It's lot number 19. Yep. And this is going to be 20. Here is a vintage. I think it's vintage, you guys. I don't 
I don't know if it's new or, or what the deal is. Do they still make this perfume? I don't even know. $5 start. And I don't know if they still make it, but it's the body wash and the body cream and the perfume. And it's new sealed in the box. I don't know if it's new old stock or what the deal is with this. I don't really know what this perfume is. You guys I don't can either. I don't either. You guys can take a moment and look it up. I don't know. Is it like a knockoff? Scratch and smell. Well, there's a little bit of smell. Yes, you mail her with your information, lot number and price, and she will invoice you. Yes, I'll invoice you. Absolutely. Yep. Yes, yeah, sorry. I dropped it in the chat, too. I, I didn't say it because you were talking. Called by Jan. By Jan. No, it's real, Christine says. By Jan Beverly Hills. Is there any interest for a $5 start or pass it? Kyle Elliott comes in at five. Joy Munkin comes in at five. Heidi Les comes in seven. at seven. Christopher comes in at 15. He power bids. Hey, Tammy. Tammy comes in at 20. So maybe it is something. Maybe. Because Tammy is a perfume person. And so is... Actually, I have a huge collection of perfume I might be able to pull out. Heidi's out. Christopher's at 25. Tammy's at 30. Christopher's at 35. I need good perfume that smells fresh and clean. Tammy's at 50. Thank you, Tammy. Christopher's out. Tammy wants it for $50. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much for the support. Lot 20, Christopher Chet, oh. Tammy, for 50. All right. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> All right. My next one is another Star Wars, and this one is size small. Size small, $5 start. Hi, Repotted Treasures. Five dollars for the Star Wars shirt. Size small. Hi, Pamela. Thanks for coming in. Wow, 84 of you here. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to pass on the Star Wars shirt. We can bring it back later. Okay, how about this one? Here's another Star Wars shirt. This one's a large, brand new with tags. $5 start. What's it caught on? Oh, it's the thing. It's as large. $5 start. Hi, Nikki D. Size large. Striker comes in at five. Moni Love comes in at seven. Striker's out. Moni Love's going to get it. That's number 21 for, oh no, Nikki D comes in at nine. Moni Love comes in at 11.
Nikki D's at 13. What does that say? Stay golden? Probably. I don't know what that means. C3PO is gold. Money Love is at 15. Oh, I have something else I want to show the newcomers too. Hold on. I'm going to go get it. I might even sell this tonight. Seriously, guys, I've been holding on to this for a month. I haven't listed it. It needs to go to a collector. I don't know if it should go to a reseller. Okay, are we done with this, honey? Yes, I sold it. $20 to Nikki D? Yes, for the C3PO large. Uh, lot number 21. CP number 30 large. Um, small and small. Okay. I have, if who else was bidding on it? <laughs> Damn, stop. Um, Moni Love was also bidding on it. Moni Love. Moni yeah. Love. I have, um, the same shirt. I'll show you, but it's not a large. If you're interested, I have a medium. I have a medium if you want it for 20. Brand new tags. Donna, I meant to tell you the breast bracelets came today. Oh, good. I have a medium and I have a small if you're interested. Hi, Michelle P. I don't think I have any more um, Star Wars large or extra large, honey. There it is. Hi, Susanna. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Does anybody... Okay, so... Does she not want either one of those? Does anybody want them? Or do you want to start the bidding on them? No extra large. All I have is medium and small. Moni hasn't responded whether she wanted a medium or small for 20 it's got to be a large or an extra large. Okay. Is there anybody that wants a small? Do you want to start the bidding on $5 on this one? See if anybody wants a small. Sure. Okay. So, yeah, this one's the small one. Small cp 30 Let's do the small and medium together with a five dollar start. Now it's a now it's a reseller lot. Small and medium. I have two left. This is it. One and two. Five dollar start for both of them. If anybody's interested, striker comes in at five for both shirts. Small and medium. You can list these if you're a reseller. April's at six. Shriker's out. Jackie's at seven. Barbara's at eight. Michelle, I see you. You're just a second behind, honey. Good 
Countess is out. Just Jackie, I hope you're well, sweetheart, is out. Barb Lee and Michelle Petty's, it's up to you guys. Barb is out. Michelle, let us know, honey. Michelle's at nine. Barb Lee is out. Michelle gets them for nine. Congrats. That's a lot. Number 22. 22. Michelle Petty's. For nine dollars. Great deal, Michelle. Awesome. Wait a minute. The Moni Love came in at 10 at, before I put sold. Oh, sorry, Michelle. And then Michelle put out. Okay, so Moni Love gets it. Yes. For 10. For 10. Moni well, Love. No, no, because Joy's got 12. What do you. <laughs> Did you write sold? I keep writing sold, and somebody keeps coming in before then. They're coming in faster. Do you have a really bad lag? Don't know what's for supper in your house. I can hear the plates and I'm getting hungry. I know it's my husband. So we buy this at Costco. We buy this wonderful, it's in the freezer section. It's um it's a Indian, frozen Indian. It's a curry sauce with chicken, or I think you can buy beef. We usually buy the chicken one. And then um, we doctor it up by adding chickpeas and we make jasmine rice. So um, yeah, that's what he made for dinner tonight. It's, it's really easy, like in a pinch, you know, you have it in the freezer and you just thaw it out. And then you put it in a pan with some, you know, some other vegetables and we add like spinach to it. And, but it's, it's, it's curry. It's, it's Indian food, but it's phenomenal. It's so good. Yeah, it's really, it is so good. And it's so easy. Not frozen, refrigerated. Is it? Oh, hi, late night. Is it in the refrigerated section? Maybe he put it in the freezer after you bought it in the refrigerated section. Because, you know, Ricky's the Costco guy, so. <laughs> but it's um, it's so good. If you like Indian food, it's so delicious. Actually, Trader Joe's makes a really good one, too. Trader Joe's has a really nice Indian food line also as well. Right? Oh, my gosh. So good. That's what I miss about, um, like, visiting um, Boston and New York is there's so many great Indian places up there. We don't have a lot of Indian. There's like two Indian places that I know of down here. In New York, they're, I love Indian food too. They're like on every corner. Yeah, I grew up eating a lot of Middle Eastern food, food because my, my, father was in, my father was raised in North Africa. So they cooked a lot of Middle Eastern food. So my grandmother would come and stay. She lived in Italy and she would come and stay with us for like, she, my dad would get her a year visa and she would come and stay with us for a year. And she was also born and raised in North Africa, but they were Italians and it was an Italian colony. And so I had a lot of, um, no, it's not spicy. It's not spicy at all. So I grew up with eating a lot of couscous and a lot of Middle Eastern food with lots of curry and saffron and that that kind of spice. It's not like hot spice. Yeah. Okay. We sold it to Mooney Love? Yes, honey. Okay. For 13. Thank you, Mooney Love. Yeah, I love um, Middle Eastern food and Indian food, and I I love all I love all kinds of food. There's really nothing that I won't eat. I'm not a picky eater at all. I love trying like all different types of food. All right, this is what I'm going to show you, you guys. So I've been advised to list this on eBay because it's very rare. I'm going to put a reserve on it. I never looked it up. I never, ever looked it up. I'm just going to guess what I think it's worth. 
you guys want to start bidding on it. If you know somebody who is a collector, I'll show you what it is. But it came in this case. This is how I got it in this case. And this is what it is. And I may have nothing here. You guys may say to me, Donna, that's not worth you, what, you know, what you think it is. But nevertheless, I'm going to show it to you. And we'll start a bid. We'll start bidding at... Um, I have this guy. And this came from the same Star Wars collector. And he kept him in this case. So there's this guy. And he's made out of like a soft plastic. <clears throat> yeah, I love unique dishes too. So there's him. And then there's him. What do I have here? Okay, the first one is um, from an alien movie. The second one is from a Predator movie. So they're not Star Wars things? No, they are not, but they're collectible as well. They're not Star Wars. That's from Predator. It's a, a movie. And the other ones was Alien. See, I see how much I know. It's Medicom 1996. Um, 1996 would have been for the first Predator movie. And then it's TMO 87 96 Fox is what this one says on it. Yes, that would have been the first year of Predator w would have been about 96, I think. Okay, so they're not Star Wars. No, they're not Star Wars, but they still are highly collectible. And they are a lot harder to find. There's not as many of them. What year is the alien? The alien is TMO 7996 Fox, whatever that means. And this one says Metacom 1996. Miss Hoover says that 87 would have been Predator's first name or first movie. Do you say 96? 87. 87. Yeah. So they're thinking that I'm thinking this was the Alien versus Predator movie as well. This is these are 96. Right. So what do you think, guys? Are they valuable? Does anybody want to bid on them? Should I put them on eBay? Someone going to give me a fair price on them? Either way, those are cool. Yeah. What do you think? Did you do you did you guys look them up? Because I didn't look them up. Is there any collectors out there that would be willing to buy them as collectibles? <sighs> Strikers at twenty five. No. Rare, but not my bag. 25. I would say for 25, I'd rather look them up and see about eBay. Someone's texting me what they're worth. Okay, then. Yeah. So, okay, we'll pass on them. I just wanted to let you know I had them in case there was any collectors out there um, that had to absolutely have them. You know I have them if anybody wants to give me a decent. Oh, uh, thanks, Joanne. The lava lamp's not for sale. If anybody wants to give me a decent offer on them, I'll sell them. For sure, for sure. Okay. Let's see. Keeping with the Star Wars theme, I am going to start this at $5. This is a complete Star Wars um, kids dress up outfit. It's a size 5, 6. It's from the Disney store. Um, it's complete. $5 to start. Even boys like to play dress up. Oh my gosh, my grandkids do all the time. Yeah. So this is 
the legs, the cape, and the mask. Brand new with the tags. Suggested retail price is $59.99. And I'm starting it at $5. And that's the suggested retail price on it. I have like Star Wars like forever. Strikers at six. It's an excellent condition. It's brand new from the Disney store. Plenty of room to list it at that price if you're a reseller. In April, my daughter was buying princess costumes from Halloween <laughs> to give to my daughter, daughter granddaughter for Christmas. So oh, yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Joy's at 12. I wonder if it will fit me. <laughs> Depends if you're little. Jackie's out. Woodbine girl is out. Looks like Joy's going to get it. <clears throat> Star Wars. I can't believe my microphone is that that delicate. You can hear it. It's one of my it's one of my pet peeves with my husband is him scratching his plate when he's eating right he's done it our whole entire marriage i'll say to him why are you scratching the bottom of the plate like go get some more food if you want more food like we have more food in the pan like go <laughs> put more food on your plate he just likes to just scratch the bottom of his plate i bet i bet i bid 500 okay does joy get it joy does Love. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. Joy gets it. Um, look, 23, 12, 12, 13. Okay. Awesome, Joy. Thank you, honey. All right. There we have it. into the bag all right let's do some more single clothes um i don't know if andrea and jolene are here but they wanted this jacket before and i said nope i'm gonna list it and i didn't list it and here it is i'm bringing it back but i'm not gonna start it at five this is a beautiful designer vintage jacket and it's got real fur lining inside. Um, the name on it is right here. You'll have to do your research on it. It's all leather. I'm going to start it at 20. Because I think you can get a lot of money for this jacket. It's absolutely what's, beautiful. What's the name of it again? Um, it's perfectly clean. It's an excellent condition. It's definitely vintage. And the name on it is A-N-T-E-L. A-N-T-E-L. And I, um, Tammy, I have no idea the size on it. It's all in um, barn language. And tell, yep. And there's no size anywhere in it. It's all leather and real fur. No, no size. So you have to measure it. But look at how beautiful this jacket is. This looks like it's snake skin. Doesn't it? That all looks like snake skin. Would it fit you, Donna, or is it smaller? No. 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 This would not fit me. Um, this would probably fit someone who is a either small or medium. Okay. 
probably medium. Maybe not a small, but a medium for sure. Tammy, it's gorgeous, honey. If this is all, all two, all stitched, all leather. Yep. And then it has that snakeskin top with the suede. And I don't know what kind of fur this is, but it's real fur. Some sort of animal fur. It is beautiful. All right, anybody else? Tammy's going to steal it for $20. That's a steal. Going twice. We're going to give it to Tammy. Not yet. We're not. <laughs> oh, Chris. They just needed a minute to look it up, do some research. At that price, you just buy another one. Oh, you can't buy stuff like this, Frank. <clears throat> you can't even find stuff like this out in the wild. It's stunning. Imagine how warm this must keep you between the leather and the fur, right? It's definitely vintage. Yeah, it's made in Europe for sure. Pamela, it's a beautiful vintage snakeskin leather and fur women's coat. That's all snakeskin on the top. All right. Who won it? My friend Christopher? Thank you, Tammy, so much for bidding. So no, your friend Tammy. Oh, Tammy. Yay, Tammy got it. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. 55 for the leather jacket. Tammy, thank you so much, honey. Christopher, thank you so much for bidding. $55. I hope you sell it for lots of money. Again, this is one of my... I'm going to list this. Didn't happen. Did not happen. Um, I was just thinking of something I was going to show you that was, uh, what was I thinking of when I was doing this? I was thinking of something else that I wanted to show you. Um, I have some glasses here. You guys, I just made a huge purchase of sunglasses. So as some of you know, like my glasses, I have some there. It's a mixture. It's vintage, it's prescription. And then there are some beautiful, like regular sunglasses. Um, some of the lenses do have minor scratches on them. Some of them have major scratches on them. Um, I know someone who bought a pair and was able to order a pair of replacement lenses on eBay and got like a beautiful brand new pair of glasses. So some of my glasses do come with scratches. Um, this pair I was going to list, but I'm going to present it here tonight. They're Prada. Um, 
they do have some minor scratches. So if you're going to buy them to list them, um, you do want to put in the listing minor scratches in the lenses if you're buying them for personal use. Um, you can probably order the lenses. So Prada has, so that you know, and those of you that are my regular people, I was an eyeglass model for, for years. So um, I don't know if you can see it. You see the registration number right there? I do, yeah. Okay. So those, the Prada puts registration numbers on their lenses. So these are a beautiful pair of Prada sunglasses. Big bucks. Big bucks. So um, like I said, I was going to list them. But in case somebody wants to buy them, uh, they're a little bit crooked, so they may may need some adjusting. Um, neat, I didn't know that. Yes. So um, the other thing that you want to look at, you know, if you are looking at sunglasses out in the wild, you always want to make sure that they say made in Italy. You know, if it's, if it's an Italian designer, which these are. Um, the nose pads, you can bring these to any optical shop. Even Costco will change them out for you. Complimentary. Um, can you read the number? Sure. Um, Okay, ready, Andrea? AP9705461. And they are style number SPR 52H. SPR 52H is the model number on them. Okay. Um, I would like to start these at 50. There's no bids. It's fine. I can put them. I, I literally just sold a pair of sunglasses, glasses on eBay for $2,500 <laughs> that I found in my lot. Okay. So I wanted to tell you, I have sunglass lots. If anybody wants to order a sunglass lot from me, Jen Bennett just got one. Bless her heart. Thank you so much. You'll get a combination, combination of glasses, all combination. Um, you never know what you're going to find in them. These caught my eye. I pulled them out I, for tonight. Just for tonight, I pulled these out and I pulled a couple of pairs out. So if anybody wants, thank you. They're crooked though. They're crooked. One, one of my ears is higher than the other. They're crooked. Um, thank you, Becky. <gasps> Andrea already has. Okay, so you guys, Andrea bought a brooch from me for $12. She listed it tonight, and she has a $180 offer on the brooch. Andrea, <laughs> you go, girl. That is awesome. That is awesome. Take your money and run. You have a $12 investment in that. <laughs> Donna. What? How much is the glasses lot? The glass lot starting at a hundred, starting Thank at a hundred and, and you add up for a hundred dollars, you get between 10 and I mean, um, 20 and 25 pairs, which is a great deal, which is a great deal for a glass lot. Yep. You get good deals here at Donna's. Okay, so these are starting at 50, you guys. Nobody's interested in these for $50. I'll put them in my I'm going to list it pile with the vase. <laughs> All right, nobody's interested in these. Okay, how about these? Um, these are Kenneth Cole Reaction. I'll start these at five. 
Jen's excited. That's under my tree too. She bought herself Christmas presents. Okay, so these are um, five dollars start, you guys. Kenneth Cole. I think that are these, they scratched? these <clears throat> are they scratched. These can be um, unisex. Unisex. Um, I mean, little tiny scratches on them. I mean, nothing like major, like no gouges or anything. Some people, it's, it, you know, that's a hard question because some people are really, really sensitive to a scratch. Like my, my husband can't stand wearing glasses that have scratches on them. I wear glasses with scratches on them. Like it doesn't, I just look beyond the scratch. Like I don't, he says to me, his eye goes right to the scratch. Not to me. Like I just look beyond it. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. My husband does the same thing. He looks beyond it. No, he complains of every time there's a little scratch, he needs new sunglasses. Yeah, my husband too. He can't stand his lenses scratched at all. Maybe it's a guy thing. Who Maybe. Knows? I don't know. With me, I'm like, I can see just fine. Okay, <laughs> so was going to get them for five. What, 25 for $5? Kenneth? Oh. Yeah, some of the ones that I have are really beautiful um, glasses that I just, just got. Okay, so those can go there. And then these are just guests. These are a pair of guests, $5. They got the sequence on the side. If anybody would like these for five dollars these are a pair of guests let me know these are black with gray lenses oh my gosh andrea you're so funny okay Pamela comes in at five for these. Lot number 26 for five. All right. Pamela gets this pair also. Thank you, Jen. That's why my father exploited me at a young age and made me be a model. <laughs> I always say that, that my dad exploited me when I was little and made me model sunglasses, eyeglasses. Um, Calvin Klein is your next pair. These are small. These are Calvin Klein. Ooh. They're smaller. Well, the, the, the lens is smaller, but it's nice. It's a nice fit. It's a nice tight fit. Hi, old man trading post is my eBay store. These are $5 start. Anybody want the Calvin Klein for $5? Kathy's Corner comes in at five. Late night comes in at five. I don't think she had any idea, Joy, when she bought it. Oh, but she looked it up because she texted me that she looked it up and she couldn't find one that was exactly like the one that she bought from me. So KK gets these for five? Yeah, I was just making, nope, Pamela's in for six. Oh, Pamela wants them for six. Let's see if KK comes back. Okay. Seven. Yeah, they're nice.
Nice pair of Calvin Kleins. Looks like the Matrix glasses, right? Pamela's out. KK gets it for seven. All right, KK, thank you so much. Lot number 27. You guys, be honest me. 100% honest. Do you like this kind of like selling? I know I asked last time, but I don't know. Like, I don't know if you like the more upbeat, more lots, more like volume. Okay, I'm going to show these one. Those are nice. I'm going to show these one more time. Prada. $50 start. Here's your chance. They're real Prada. $50 start. It's not a buy it now. Thanks, late night. Thanks, Barbley. I should have put some more glasses in this box. Less lots, please. I'm new, but I like this. Thank you. Ooh, Jill comes in at 50. Kathy's Corner comes in at 50. So um, I wanted, I don't know if you guys were in the chat earlier when I was showing you, but these are authentic. And you can see Prada always puts a serial number on their lenses. Um, you can see it right there. You see it? It's really hard to see it. So these are authentic, made in Italy. Beautiful Prada. They do have a few scratches on them, a few minor scratches, very, very minor. You can replace the lenses. I mean, the scratches don't bother me at all because they're very minor and they do need a little bit of an adjustment. So you need to bring them to your optician or to Costco and have them adjusted. Beautiful Prada sunglasses. Thanks, Pamela. Yeah, well, that's what I kind of wanted it to be. Like, you know, a few things I, I started at a higher price, but I wanted it to be like, Instead of you having to go to a thrift store and rummage through a thrift store for hours, you know, looking for nice designer stuff, you know, started at like thrift shop prices. Kathy's Corner is out. Um, oh, thanks, Joy. Kathy's out and, and and Jill is out. Who's the highest bidder? Looks like Kathy was, right? Yeah, I think KK, you're ahead. Did you change your mind, honey? Did you not want them? That would make Jill be the winner. Let us know if you want them or if you don't want them. Right, Deborah. Oh, awesome, Pamela. Thank you. The Donna Loop. <laughs> she ordered a Donna Loop. Okay, Prada. We need to figure out who's getting these. Let's see. I okay, just Pam typed a mess. I just typed a message to Kathy in the chat to see if. Oh, is Hoover a mod for channels? She's no, it's model number of the oh. glasses. Oh, okay. But how come old habits die hard as model as a mod? Oh, maybe she is. Yeah, it sounds like she may have been. Oh, yeah, they're not brand new, Kathy. No, that's okay. There's um
very, very few little tiny scratches on it. They're not like brand, brand new, like out of the box so that they, they do have just a little bit of scratching on them. Jill, are you still at 60? I can do 50. All right. Take them for 50. I'm fine with that. I'm good with that, Jill. That way, if you have to replace the lenses, if the scratches bother you, you'll have to let me know. There's just a few little tiny scratches. Sixty, yes, she says. Never mind. I just sold it to her for fifty, so she deleted. That's that. fine. That's, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so Jill gets lot number twenty-eight for fifty dollars for the Prada. That's a phenomenal deal. With or without scratches, it's a great deal for the Prada. Prada glasses. Are you kidding me? So expensive. But I have so many pairs of sunglasses. I'm never going to list them all. Okay? Anybody wants a sunglass lot, let me know. That's the type of sunglasses that are in a sunglass lot. And you get... Um, between 20 and 25. Yeah, you got a good deal, right, Jill? Awesome. You get between 20 from experience. The scratches aren't that bad on much. Yes, I do, Mama G is, is doing for a three coin channel. What is that? I'm not sure. I guess um, that she mods for three coin channels. Oh, Jill, those will look beautiful on you because you've got that gorgeous blonde hair and they're gold. So the, those glasses are going to look beautiful on you. Go have them adjusted, though, because they're a little bit crooked. And go have the nose pads changed on them. You can go to any, um, um, any optical shop. We'll do it for you for free. Oh, Jen, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Yeah, so let me know, you guys, if anybody's interested in the sunglass lot. All right. So let's see what else I brought out here. I brought out a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let's start with... This is a really pretty... It's Chico's, size 2. $5 start. No, five. yeah, $5 start. It's got... Um, a silver thread. Can you see it? It's got a silver thread through it, and it, it is Chico size two. Five dollars start on this. Excellent condition. Oh, is that a little bit of dirt? Yeah, it's topical. It's a topical spot. It'll come right out with a little wipey. Size two Chico's $5 start. With this just slight sparkle on it. If it was a three, I was going to keep this because I think it would be really pretty on camera with the sparkle. See it? Yeah, it's beautiful. So pretty, but it's, it would be too tight for me. I mean, it, I could get away with it, like just to wear it on camera. But if I like, I wouldn't go out with it because it would be like too tight on me. Scotty's registered with the other channels if you get to get around to wrenching. Hi, Scotty. Thanks for coming in. Scotty, we're having kind of like a different style auction. I'm kind of test marketing something a little bit different. Um, I'm doing like one-offs with $1 increments um, for people that don't want to buy big lots and just maybe want to buy one or two things for reselling or for gifts or for themselves. So a little bit of a slow paced auction tonight, not big, huge lots. But thank you for coming in. A lot of them like it this way. I think so. I'm, I think I'm getting good responses and we do have 103 people in the room. So, right. you know, that tells you something. People aren't leaving. Even True. if they're just sitting in the background, just watching and listening. I appreciate you guys being here. Say hi if you're just sitting in the background, you guys. I appreciate you being here, just watching and 
being here for company. Okay, so Deborah Reed has it for 12? Yeah. Okay. Deborah, it's beautiful. Jill, you sure you're out? <gasps> Sorry, Deborah. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> I can just see Jill wearing this with her blonde hair. <laughs> okay, so De let's see. Deborah gets it for 12. Deborah Reed. That wasn't very nice, Deborah. Um, I hope you forgive me. <laughs> I didn't mean to be. I was actually like, it was like an underhanded compliment, I guess. I was complimenting. Um, oh, poor Kelly's still sick. I'm sorry. Danish raspberry. How yummy. That sounds awesome. All right, I need to move this big leather coat because it's taken up all the space in my box. And I need to put these items in this box. Okay. Um, my next one is this. And it is called Allison Woods. And it says two piece, but I only have one piece. And it says 34 women's. It's it's not 34 women's. I mean, 34 women's would be absolutely huge. But it is tweed, and it is really pretty, and it has this pretty flower. It's a pin. Um, it's probably vintage. $5 start on this. Allison Woods, but it does say two-piece, but I only have the one-piece. It's like raspberry and pink is the color on it. Hi, Dolores. So it's really pretty. It's a nice lightweight jacket. It's got pockets in the front. Feels like there's something in this pocket. Yeah, it looks vintage for sure. But it's not, there's no way. It's just 34, you guys. There's no way. I mean, I'm like a double XL. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm comfortable. I could wear XL, but I'm comfortable in a double XL because I don't like close touching my body. I'm like my daughter who has to have everything clinging to her. And you see how it fits? Like I can button it. So this is no way a 34. Yeah, it probably came with a skirt. It's not pretty big. Look. I mean... This is how much room it has in the front. It would be great with jeans or even white slacks. White jeans would be so pretty. <clears throat> it is an Irish size. Oh, is it Shelly? Now I understand. 34W. Allison Woods. Dry clean. To European size. Oh, okay. I was going to say, there's no way. Anybody? Yeah, I saw that, April. Thank you. Makes the twins look bigger. <laughs> I would wear this. Absolutely. I think it's so pretty. Okay, no, 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 no interest. We're going to pass. All right, let's pass on it. Let's pass on that. And let's bring out this vest. Let's see what the maker is on this vest. Allison Daly, size 12, outer shell polyester and spandex, 100% polyester filling. It's like a hunter's green, and it's quilted, and it's a $5 start on this. It's a hunter's green. And it's a vest. And it's all quilted.
Hi, Nancy. Nancy, I didn't forget about you. I'm so sorry, honey. I have been working my butt off. Did you ever get those packages out that you wanted me to mail for you? Um, what size is this? 12. It's a size 12. Dark teal? No. It's definitely... Oh, it is! Here, let me turn this light on. I didn't have my light on. I feel like I'm working in the dark over here. It is a teal. I thought it was a green. Look at You saw that really, really good. Looks blue on the screen. It is. It's a teal. It's not a green. I thought it was a green. Nope, it's teal. My mistake. Size 12. Deborah Reed likes it for five. Anybody else? Should we sell it to Deborah? Sandy Kirk is making coffee for everyone. Susanna has danishes for everyone. We're all set. We got coffee and danishes in the chat. Jill wants it for six. Jill, this will be perfect for you for work with one of your cotton shirts that you bought from me. Be really nice. And then it has pockets. You can put your cell phone in the pockets. Auctions for you. She's tired. Thank you for the super chat, T. Thanks for being here, honey. You worked so hard this weekend. Get a good night's rest. Okay, let's give it to Jill. Who um who else was bidding? Deborah. Deborah, you out, honey? Right out. If you are out, Deborah's at seven. Deborah likes it. She's like, that will be so pretty with a white sweater underneath it or a black sweater. Or a nice crisp white shirt. Lot number 30, teal vest. Jill is at eight. Oh yeah. Yeah, Deborah. She has red hair. Be beautiful. Shades of green and teal with red hair always looks so beautiful. Jill, you can have it out. Okay, Jill has it at eight. And it is lot number 30 to Jill. All right. All right, let's see what else I've got. How about this pretty shirt? This shirt is like smock size. It's like down past your butt. It's a Tommy Hill figure and it's an 18 women's. And it has all these like little balls on it. You see the little balls on it? And this is another great shirt that can be worn with jeans, with a white t-shirt underneath it. And it's really long. It's like a tunic shirt where it has the slits on the side. So this is $5 to start for the Tommy Hilfiger. Nice shirt. Oh, and it has... Um, Hi, my Donna and everyone. So exhausted, guys. Please excuse me if I don't say hi to everyone. I love you all. Oh, thank you, T. You're so sweet. But T, why su two super chats, honey? Oh, one was a um, super sticker and one was a super chat. Thank you, T. 
Thanks, honey. Mary Ness comes in at 10. What size is that one, Donna? It's a size um, 18 women's. Okay. Right, Susanna? I love this, too. I love this, too. Should have probably tried it on. That's how I was at, why I was asking you what size it was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try it on. I'm not I'm not so big into stripes. I mean I, I have some shirts with stripes, but <clears throat> they usually wear solids. Oh, Pamela's um lagging. Mary's at 13. Hi, Miss Martha. Comfy, cozy shirt, right, Shelly? Absolutely. Tommy Hilfiger. Want number 31. It's like a men's shirt, but tunic style. With the nice slits on the side that you can wear it with leggings. Okay. Tammy says I was at 12. She was, but you said tonight they didn't have to do $2 increments is why I accepted it. Oh, okay. So who's the high bidder? Right now, I have Mary at 13. Okay. Sorry, Tammy. I, I That's why I did that. Oh, yeah. I said that in the beginning, um, Tammy, that we can do $1 increment since the value is so low tonight on the, you know, the, the, the start price is so low is what I meant to say. All right, should we close it? Who was the high bidder? I'm sorry. I'm closing it right now. And Mary Ness was the high bidder. Okay, Mary Ness. Thank you, Mary. For 12? Yes. Or excuse me, for 13. 13, okay. Uh, 13. Tammy must have come in a little bit late, so she didn't realize that we were letting the dollars go tonight. Oh, yeah. Because you said in the beginning we were breaking all the rules because T wasn't here. Yeah. I always break the rules when T's not here. I try. No, we actually talked about changing the auction um, a little bit and, and doing this like once a week. Okay, here's a Chico size two. $5 start. And it's awesome. Chico size two, five dollars. Any interest? Yes, T, breaking all the rules, honey. Hi, Janine. Deborah Reed likes it. It is Shelly, isn't it? Look at how cute that is. It's um, blue, no iron, Chico's size two. I have Deborah at five first. Kelly, if you want to come seven. And it has the design on the, on the cuffs of the shirt as well. Oh, 
Okay. Deborah gets it at five. Lot number 32, $5. Yeah. How about we do a pair of Levi's that are size 4229? $4229, $5 start. 42.29. There's the bottom. Nice and clean. 42.29. For the Levi's. $5 start. Susan Arrington. Thank you, Susan. Anybody else? Give them to Susan. Did you say they, they were 40, 30s? 40, 42, 29, 550 Levi's. The number on the Levi's is 550. 5550. We must be having a lag. We are. Okay, we've got Susan at five. Anybody else? Pamela comes in at six. Scotty comes in at seven. Susan comes in at eight. Nice and clean. Excellent, excellent condition. Susan's at 10. Scotty's at 11. Pamela is out. Tony, Susan. can you say that about the um, the shipping since Scotty's new to the channel, please? Okay, Scotty. So um, free shipping with a thirty dollar purchase, and that can be combined. And I do auctions almost every day, so you can combine it throughout the week. I'll invoice you when I get to thirty dollars, um, unless you want it sooner than that, and you don't want to wait for the thirty dollars, and you want to just pay for the shipping jeans. I can tell you will cost just under $8 to ship. That's how much it will cost me to ship out your jeans, $8. So it's up to you. You can wait. Um, but those are kind of like the house rules that we do. Who won them anyways? To Scotty. Scotty, Scotty wins them. Scotty, does that make sense to you? And if you decide that you just want them, then um, just send me an email. That was lot number 33 for $11, which is a great price for a pair of blue jeans. Okay.
All right, the next pair is another pair of Levi's. These look like women's classic boot size 12. Classic boot size 12. Women's Levi's. And $5 start on these. And there's your bottoms. Nice and clean. $5 start. Oh, and these are stretch. These have spandex. Okay, Scotty, thanks. Um, so these have spandex in them, you guys. These nice Levi's. Size 12. Kelly comes in at five. Lot number 34, Levi's. Kelly's at five. Jill is at six. Christine Rose. Petite or long? They're, they're just marked regular size. Classic. <clears throat> so they're not petite. They're just regular size. 12 medium, 31, it says 31 waist, 32 long. Those are the measurements. Here you go. Well done. Those are the measurements. 12 medium equates to 31 waist with 32 long. And it has all the center meters and stuff in there too. Jill is at six. Kelly is out. Christine Rose. Who was at six first? Jill? Yeah. Christine, let us know if you're in or out, honey. And we'll sell it. Lot number 34 is going to go. Got to change the lingo. Shipping's always free. Yeah. It is free, but we're just doing a $30 minimum. We never said that there was a minimum before, but we're, I mean, th think about it, Janine. If we sell a, you know, $12 item and we weren't doing these $5 starts before where I'm doing more of these $5 starts and it's going to cost me $7 to ship out, I would be, you know, not a smart businesswoman. When I when we were doing the free shipping, all of our lot, lots were selling at twenty five and going in upwards of seventy five to you know a hundred. But with these you know eleven dollar eight dollar purchases, I'll lose money. Yeah, um, T already talked about redoing her trailer because on her trailer it says shipping's always free. I don't think the trailer I play says anything like that. My, the trailer that um, Robin made me is really, really sweet, but it's just really about Denali. So I'm thinking about doing a new trailer. Maybe that's including my whole family, not just Denali and making it about more about the auctions, not just, I love the trailer that she made me and will cherish it forever. But um, I think it's time for a change. And besides, you have to change because people get tired of seeing the same trailer over and over. I never get tired of it, but I imagine people do. All right, Jill's going to take it. Have any 3030s? I don't know. I've got a big pile of them next to me. So I will... Um, Jill gets it for $8. See, like $8, right, Janine? This would cost me almost $8 to ship. <laughs> if if Jill didn't buy other things, but Jill's always buying other things. Jill's a great customer. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. 
What else do we have here? Let's, should we do another pair of jeans or let's do a top? Let's do another top. This is almost like, it's a heavy, it's a heavy, almost like a denim, but it's not denim. It's a heavy cotton. It's Chico's, Chico size two. And it's kind of like a, it's a jacket, like a bomber style jacket, I guess. Um, there's the print on it. Another really pretty jacket. Believe it or not, like you have to wear jackets like this down here in, in Florida. Like everywhere you go is so cold and air conditioned that you have to wear like sleeves. Even sometimes in the summer when you're in a place of business or even a supermarket. Like if you go into Costco, you freeze. It's freezing in there. The supermarket is also freezing. All right. So we're going to start this at five for this brown Chico's jacket. Deborah Reed likes it for five. Yes, it's a two, Shelly. It's definitely a two. Two as in two, two or two X. Okay, so Shelly, two, uh, Chico's has their own sizing. So you guys, someone in the chat, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. But a size two in Chico's is like a size 12. That's what it just said on Google when I Googled it. Yeah, it's like a size 12. I used to wear Chico's. I love Chico's, but Chico's got so expensive. Oh my God. Their prices just kept going up and up and up and up. Like if you went into Chico's to buy this jacket, like walked into Chico's to buy this, this would be, I mean, Jill, what do you think? Like, or, or even Andrea, like this Chico's jacket at the Chico's store would be probably like $80. If not more. Correct. Yeah. Be like 80 bucks. This is like an 80, $90 jacket at Chico's. It's crazy. When I started wearing Chico's, which was a long time ago, when they first came out, their clothes were expensive, but they were, they were definitely more affordable. Borderline hoarderish. I'm off to bed early tonight. It's school's finals this week and I'm getting up at 4am just to list. If no one has told you today how amazing you are, I'm here to say you are amazing and I appreciate you. Thank you, Kimberly. So I'm going to guess you were happy with your dibble box <laughs> that you ordered. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Mwah. Sweet dreams, honey. And you'll, you'll make it through this week. Thank you, Kimberly. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, see, even Susanna's Chronicle says $100. I got a bunch of plus-size clothes a while back. They were all new with tags, which Chico's was very high. Right, Andrea? Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Okay, so did we get a bid on this? don't know if we got a bid on it. Yes, and I just sold it to Deborah Reed. For oh, Deborah dollars. Reed bought it. Okay. Deborah, that is a steal. It's going to look beautiful on you, honey. Okay, Deborah, for $5 for the Chico's. Lot 35. Awesome, Deborah. Thank you, honey. Good night, Kimberly. Sweet dreams, honey. Sweet dreams. Oh, no, Chico's is not all plus sizes. Chico's has a, um, I might have some pieces. I may have brought some pieces. I meant to. I don't know if I actually had a chance to. It's called Travelers, which is kind of like the their plus size, their like comfort um, line. Okay, this next pair, if there's any guys left in the chat, these are carpenter pants. This, you guys, if you're a reseller, this is what my husband wears um, when he was on job sites, Duluth. Like these pants, these Duluth pants run like $80 for brand new ones. These are like virtually brand new. Um, the size on them is 
4632. 4632, and they are a heavy cotton. Um, they've got, you know, the the carpenter pockets for work for workers. These are really, really expensive um, work clothes. You can feel free to look it up. Duluth is awesome, right, Jade? It is. They're a great, great, great clothing company. Like my husband loves this clothing company. I think they're only mail order. I don't know if there's any, but these are an excellent, like brand new, brand new condition. My husband loves Duluth, right, Becky? Yeah, so does my husband. So does my husband. He loves them. And you know what? They ship in black bags like I do. <laughs> they ship their clothes in black bags. I think it's so funny. <laughs> no, they're not lined, Susanna. Not these. Not this pair. Mm -mm. Nope. They're just a nice cotton. Just a nice men's cotton gray Duluth. perfect for, um, I mean, you can definitely wear these out, but these are perfect for like working out in the yard or working in the garage. Um, they really can take a beating because they're, um, you know, the, the nice cotton, thick cotton that they are. Let's see, strikers at 15. They make no yank tank tops. What does that mean? Believe it or not, my son at 17 wore that size. He then got off all meds and started smoking weed and walking five miles daily. And within six months, he has down to a size 32 and has not gained anything back. That's awesome. That is awesome. Andrea is out. LC is out. Andrea Baker is out. We're going to Elsie. No, Elsie is out. Who's buying them? Sorry, it was muted and I was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't shut up, right? So... I'm going to suggest um, we might lose some viewers, but that's okay because anybody who wants to stay will come back. Uh, this is lot number 40, lot number 40 for um, how much are we selling for? 15. You're on lot number 40? Yes. Then I'm going to have to really look and see what I messed up then because I'm not, but that's okay. What, where are you at? Where are you at? I was on 35, but some my computer jumped earlier and took out half of my list. So oh, 35 was the Chico's. What did you just say? Uh 35 was the Chico's to Deborah. So this is lot 40. Oh <laughs> We're not going in five dollar increments. <laughs> We're going in five dollar increments. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with me? I'm wow. sorry. <laughs> I wrote. I wrote number forty. <laughs> oh my god! Lot number thirty six. I even wrote it on my on my my tag that I tag my items with. 
Something's wrong with me. Everybody in the chat's probably like, no, not you, Donna. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just right? fine. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. All right. This is what I was going to suggest. I was going to suggest we take a 10 minute, just let's go get a refreshment and pee break. And we'll meet everybody back here in 10 minutes break. What do you think? I'm fine with that because going to the little girl's room would be okay for me. Yeah. Because I want to go get a drink. My glass is empty, my water is empty, and I'm sure everybody else would like to go and maybe go get a drink or or do something. And um we'll we'll be right back. All right, you guys? Okay. All right. Talk amongst yourselves, and if someone comes in and wants to know what's going on, just tell them. <laughs> Say they'll be right back. There's <laughs> a hundred of you in the chat. I mean, I could do this whole countdown thing, but you know what? It's only like 15 minutes, and then let me see. Let me see. Go, go. Let me see. Robin had made me an intermission thing. I don't know if it's still on here. Um, down to the ground. You're dragging me. It's constantly. No, I, I won't make a sound. I love the pain. It sets me free. Oh, it's wrong. I can't be right.
Empty hearts and neon lights They're playing with my mind I gotta get out of here tonight Yeah, I wanna run off and float And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I can't play the music again, sorry. Crazy, Sandy. I'm not singing. Ooh. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Ooh, we lost a bunch of people. Yeah. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe. Okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> what are they laughing at? The song stopped, and we could hear you, like, banging around. Oh, that was my daughter. I'm like, somebody said, start the song back. I'm like... I can't. Sorry. So then everybody's laughing and telling me to sing to them. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a lot of albums next. Let's see. They are a mix of different albums. Okay. Dwayne Eddy, $25 to start. Music from the Golden West. Perry Como. Ten of the best ink spot hits. Roy Clark. Bing Crosby's White Christmas. Red Foley. Tony Bennett, Tom Jones, 
120 music masterpieces. Pearly. Ella swings brightly with Nelson. There's a Spanish one. Robinson. Caruso. Um, great artist at the Met. Bill Cosby. Tiny Bubbles by John Ho. The Nashville Brass. Jack Armstrong, Wheaties. Alfred Apaca. This one says Coca-Cola on the top. I don't know. Shadow. Perez, something or other. Merry Christmas by Johnny Mathis. And Honky Tonk Piano. I think there's, I think I counted 25 of them. Hey, Hustlers. Any interest in the record lot? 25 records. Where's the popcorn? I didn't bring any popcorn. No interest in the albums? Pass, Janine? Okay, we'll pass on them. Okay. Let's go back to close. All right. This one is a Calvin Klein size large... Don, look at Don Ho. Who does it look like? Oh, I don't know. I put them down there. I'd have to look them through. Hey, Mark. Thanks for coming in. So here is a Calvin Klein yellow and white striped shirt. Starts at five. It's got um, the, what do you call it, cuffs? The um, French cuffs. Do you say size large? Size large. Size large. Yellow and white striped. Is goose in the house? Oh, it looks like the goose. Does it? I'll have to look at it. Any interest in the Calvin Klein shirt? Um, I would say yes. I would say it's men's. I would say it's definitely men's. Okay, let's pass on it. Put it over there with the pass items. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Medium Talberts. And it's a little sweater. Tiny bubbles. Hey, <laughs> Chris the Goose. <laughs> Does it look like you? Goose, you want to come in? You busy? Keep us company? Good 
five dollars start. Jill takes it for five. For the Talberts. Lot number 37 to Jill for five dollars. Sold to Jill. All right. Let's see. Winner is Jill, five dollars for the Talberts. Well, 37. All right, we're on 38. 38. Goose, I could see you wearing this one. This one is Jamaica Jacks, 100% silk, size extra large. It's green and white. One hundred percent silk. It's really pretty. Jamaica Jacks. One hundred percent silk. Five dollars start. One hundred percent silk. It's got the nice um, stitching on it. Not a spot on it. It's nice and clean. All right, anybody else? Shriker is out, but Moni Love loves that. For six dollars. Okay. Oh, Jill came in. Pamela is out. Oopsie. Money Love, what do you think? We've got Jill at seven. Look at the pretty stitching it has on it. It's a nice quality shirt. Okay, Jill's going to be at seven. All right, we're sold. Sold, sold, sold. Here is a pair of size 40, 32, slim, straight Levi's.
Chris, I'm going to put it right in the chat. Actually, I'll just send it to you where you sent me. I know, Jill. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's that? I was trying to tell Pam to refresh, and I kind of put, we fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Jill at 10. This is lot number 39 to Jill for 10. All right, Jill, thank you. Thank you, thank you, my dear. <coughs> Next up. <coughs> this is that um, really nice brand, Cuba Vera. It's Cuba Vera, size extra large. This is men's clothes. This is like, it's a, it's a, it's a, a really look at that blanket stitch very expensive men's clothes and this is like a, a men's jacket i mean I, I suppose a woman could wear it too but cuba vera i sold a pair of pants the other night with this um brand name i think joy bought them i know i have some more pieces of this cuba vera i just gotta find it it's in one of the bins but i have i got a whole bunch of this cuba vera stuff um this is lot number, well, these are Levi's for lot number 40. It's beautiful. Yes, you did, Joy, right? Cuba Vera is a nice, nice clothing line for men. Very high end. Kelly's out. Jill is in at 10. Look at the blanket stitch on that. That's the collar. So pretty. Dave Jackson comes in at 11. Thanks for being here, Dave. Elsie is out. Jill is at 12. You can see the pattern on it, how pretty it is. Dave Jackson's at 13. That's on the front. Moni Love is, uh, no, Jill's at 15. Moni Love's at 16. Out to Tampa Girl. Jill is at 20. Moni Love, let us know, honey. There's Robin. Hello, Real Creative Studios. I just played your um, intermission reel. I was hoping that would bring you out. Figured you were in the background. Okay, $20 to Jill. Thank you, Jill. Jill's cleaning out tonight. Cuba Vera. To Jill. Oh, you were? Okay. 
Well, thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. The next one is a Brooks Brothers 1733 and it's Regent style and it's a crisp blue shirt. I think it still <coughs> has the dry cleaner tag on it. Yeah. Which is great if you're a reseller. $5 start on the Brooks Brothers. It's in perfect condition. Kelly comes in at five. Brooks Brothers is such a beautiful line of clothing. It's so classic. Holly's going to win it. And we are at $5 for Miss Kelly. For the Brooks Brothers shirt. Nice crisp blue shirt. Beautiful. It goes to Kelly for five for the Brooks Brothers. All right, my never ending pile, right, you guys? Here is another nice, it's called Island Republic, double XL, 100% silk. Island Republic, and it is a soft kind of watermelon color, and it has palm trees on it. And this is a $5 start also. What a surprise. She's on the phone. She's always on the phone. Perfect condition. No stains. No smells. Great shirt. I love the color. It's kind of a really soft, like watermelon color. Oh, using phone to watch. Goose, you ready to come in? <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, honey. Is it cold? <laughs> Does it look cold? <laughs> Is it freezing? No, oh, it's only about 45 tonight. Can't you get one of those space heaters for like right there where you sit? I could. But you should. I just bundle up. Yeah, you look Shirts, cold. Layers. I got layers on. I didn't know Texas got that cold. Occasionally. I thought Texas stayed warm. Most of the time. How are you? Good. Did you yeah, have we, we had some confusion today. What's the matter? We were both on the same time. Oh, um, anyway. with you and the flamingos. Yes. I usually go on at nine. I know. I know, and um, you went early. Yeah, it, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> it's okay. No. no big that nope. was totally my fault because I said I don't want to be up really late on Sunday night. And T couldn't come on with me. Right. I so got this, what I'm doing right now, the $5 start with the clothing, would have been too hard to do it like 
by myself. Right. And I didn't ask anybody to co-host with me. My G was like, if you can go on at eight, I'm like, well, I guess so. Yeah. So. Right. And I totally didn't realize they were having theirs too at the same time. It's okay, no, no big deal. I yeah. didn't. Hey, hey, these clothes, if some of these were large, I would be all over these shirts you've got. They're right? Too, they're too big for me. So. Yeah, they're nice shirts. Good shirts. I didn't know that you and the flamingos went on Sunday nights. Well, no, we tried to hit that little window in between you and uh, T's marathon, but they went oh, late, yeah. and then you went early, so no big deal. Yeah. What's up, Robin? Okay, let's sell it. I already did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, um, and Andrea Baker. Sold, let's see. Who let's bought see. it? Andrea Baker. Yep. Andrea Baker. For how much? Seven. Seven dollars. Good buy. This is, uh, you know, kind of something new that I'm trying. Um, it's definitely a lot more work, as you know. Yeah, so I was invoicing when you when I popped in. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Everybody gets to see the the nice, easy side of YouTube, not the the back end, the shipping and the invoicing and the right. Lot so, more work. This is only half the work everybody gets to see, which is it's fine. Yeah, no, we're not complaining. Um, but this, like, what I what I've decided to do this this little test that I'm doing. I mean, it's good, I, and it gives people. You know, I just, like I was saying before, it gives people an opportunity that wouldn't otherwise, or like, for example, Andrea and like Jojo and um, Susan Arrington, they're, um, who won this, Andrea? They're resellers. But, you know, sometimes when I would bring like 20 pieces of clothing in a bag, you know, maybe they'd only be interested in like four of the pieces and you know in the bag so this this allows them to like go thrift shopping pick and choose shop, right pick and choose and go thrift shopping without having to go to thrift shops and yep. let's face it a lot of people don't want to go to thrift shops right now a lot of them aren't open right now a lot of them aren't open right now yeah so this is kind of like thrift shopping from home okay here's a beautiful large it still has the plastic in it. It's brand new. Tommy Hilfiger. Um, definitely men's. Excellent condition. Really pretty. Pretty like baby blue. Tommy Hilfiger. Five dollars start. Yep, like sky blue. And yeah. Pamela had a question. I'm in Houston, Pamela. Just sold another script. Oh, did you? Oh, see awesome scripts. She, she, yeah, she bought a. I think probably close to thirty. Yeah. Movie scripts for me. Awesome. Glad. Yeah, those were definitely some really good reseller lots. So I'm glad you're moving them quickly. They were vintage, all vintage from the '60s and uh, '50s, '50s and '60s. Donna, can you repeat the size on that, please? Um, large. Large. I screwed up on some number sequence somewhere. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I don't know. Anyways, you have this as 43? Yes. 43? Okay. How did you do tonight? Did you do well? Yeah, we did. We did good. We had a lot right. of buy it now, a lot of toys, a lot of uh, quick lots. So, it's good. Did you, did you sell big lots? No, no, a lot of quick lots, a lot oh, of buy it now stuff. Yeah, singles and yeah. Oh yeah. So we, we didn't do many big big lots. So. I did. I did really well at Mister Buys a lot. Yeah, I, I seen a couple. I didn't get to see a whole lot of his today. Uh, but yeah, he had some really cool stuff as always. And the, the lots that I seen that you brought were really, really nice as well. Moni Love gets it. Jules out. 
Moni Love gets it for nine. Yes. Nine dollars. No, Jill just came in for ten. Oops. Oopsie. Almost. Almost. Jill's back in. Oopsie. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful shirt. Yeah, still has the plastic on the collar. Yeah, it's brand new. Never been worn, yeah. Yep, just doesn't have the tags on it, but it still has the plastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it has the pretty Tommy Hill figure. Monogram? Yep. Yeah. Tommy Hill figure has a nice following. The vintage stuff and the new stuff. I used to wear it. Tom, Tommy? Mm -hmm. You did? In school, yeah, when I was yeah. in uh, high school. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> what was that, last year? <laughs> Decades ago. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I graduated in uh, 2002. 2002? That's when I had Chessy. Chessy was born in 2002. No, Chessy was born in 2003. Angelina was born in 2002. It's so funny when I take the kids to a doctor's appointment and they ask me what their birth dates are. It's like, oh, my God. All right, wait a minute. I have to think now. <laughs> well, you get, the, you get the month and the day, but you forget the year. Well... I screw up the day on Angelina and Cesarina because they were both born in. Um, they were both born in October. Okay. Or is it November? <laughs> <laughs> it's October. <laughs> both born in October. One was born on the sixteenth. The other one was born on the twenty fourth. So I always, um, oh, sure. <laughs> All right, Jill's out for real this time. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to set up the money love. Money love for 13. One, one three. You want to show something, Chris? Oh, are you, you need a break? No, I mean, if you've, if you've got something handy, I mean, let's spice it up a little bit. What you got? You know I've always got stuff. I know you always got something. If you want to sell something. And uh, Real Creative Studios says they need a wrench, by the way. I gave it to her. Okay. I don't know. What are y'all feeling like? I, you, you've been selling clothes all night? I've been selling clothes. I, I did some records. I did... Um, what else did I do? I did Legos. I did perfume. Um, I just, you know, grabbing whatever, just grabbing whatever stuff. But we had, we had, a, we had over a hundred people in the chat. And then I, I took a 15 minute break and a lot of people left. Well, I sold a coat. I sold a, um, they're just going to miss out then. Yeah. All right. Look at all that stuff he has. <sighs> okay. Doll clothes? The doll closet? Yeah, I've never heard of the doll closet. It, I'm guessing it was probably a mom and pop. Um... Joyce, you remember all those clothes that you bought for me that were like made for Barbies? The woman used to do conventions. Yeah, I bet some this kind of shows. On, yeah, I bet this is on the same idea, look, Joy. And look at this. Definitely vintage by the material. Yeah. Do they look like they look like they fit Barbies? I would say yes. The, yeah. The so far, yes. Oh, yeah, these are Barbie clothes for sure. Chris, what's your start? All sealed. Oh, let's see. There's eight eight bags in here. Let's do let's have some fun. Ten bucks. Let's go. Yeah, they're cool. I had a whole bunch of these. Jill bought them all from me. Oh, you bought them too, Tammy? I bought two lots of those, Not Donna. You did? 
Not this. Were they the same brand? Different brand? No, mine looked like they were even older. Didn't older. they, Tammy? They were. They looked like they were older than those. Mine looks like really, really old. Those look this, a little bit newer. Or this looks bigger, a bigger to me, larger size. Yeah, or they um, just were taken care of better than the ones I I had. Mine were like the bags were dusty and. But oh, but mine were pinned on boards. Yeah, mine were pinned on boards. Like the woman, like really, she's like vintage paper to pin them on and stuff. They were really cool. So this is like all different size doll clothes. Yeah, this is even larger. Looks like. Yeah. And then this one. Uh, there you go. That's a retail one. The mermaid clothes. Yeah. So one of the things is not like the other right these things is not <laughs> so let's see if we got a year on this one yeah joy i remember you buying them from me too you bought them and tammy bought them no i don't see a year what's in all those purple boxes stacked back there those yeah I think those are transformers. Are they? Toys, yeah. Did you guys buy a whole bunch of toys? We we buy a whole bunch of everything. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I don't even know what we have. Did um did JJ go and empty out that woman's hoarder's house yet? That's where this is from. That's where that's from? This is from Kansas, yeah. yes. Yeah, he went up there. And what did he do? Drive a truck back? He sent a, or he hired a crew and they brought a 16 foot cattle trailer back. So it's 16 feet long. Yeah. Eight feet tall. Yeah. Eight feet wide, full of boxes, which is over here to my left in the corner. Yeah. And then he brought back a 20 foot cargo trailer full. Oh my gosh. Yes, Tammy, mine were fancy. Mine had necklaces and matching purses and Yeah, I don't see any jewelry. It's just just clothing on these. This woman must have done the same kind of like conventions or dolls. Yeah, shows. probably like little craft shows or be my guess. Did you find any old Barbie dolls in that bunch of stuff? I've only gone through ten boxes. That's a uh, you haven't had time. Hey. I sold it. Table full, and I've got one, two, three, four. There's five boxes below the table you can't see down here. Yeah. So out of 10 boxes, not much uh, was unsellable. Put it that way. All right. We sold? Yes. Sold. Tamara? Yes, ma'am. I got to set everything back up again. I'm sure okay. Tammy, you have Tammy stuff where I don't have to drop your information. Thanks. Absolutely. I miss our Sunday night auctions. Our Sunday night auctions? It's been a long time. What do you mean? Me and you on a Sunday night. It's been a long time. Chris, I did Sunday night with you like twice and you kept me up all night. And then it took me three <laughs> days to recover. I didn't keep mean, you up. Your buyers kept you up. I remember looking. We had like a hundred people like in the chat like all night. And I kept looking out. No. I kept looking out the window and I'm like, oh my God, the sun's coming <laughs> up. It was like scaring me. It did. It took me like two days to recover from that. I can't do that. I I, I can't. There's no yeah, way. Late night. late night makes for a long day. That's for sure. See, you're so much younger than me. Like you've got, I've got 20 years on you. Like 20 years ago, I probably could have done that, but now I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Tamara. Should do well with those. Thank you, Melissa. Susan Arrington said, yes, Donna, it was fun. You going to show another one? What? You want to do another one? Yeah, go ahead. 
Oh, and then that's I'll it. go back to showing some clothes in a little while. I might go and grab um, maybe a couple of pieces of jewelry. I didn't bring any jewelry. Right. Since, since you're on clothes. Oh, and I got some books, too, that I was going to show. Wizard of Oz. In, oh, how cool is that? In the plastic. It's not been out of the plastic. I can take it out if you want. Size small. Susan, I'm old enough to be his mother, and I, I'm exactly the same age as his mother. And actually, his yeah. mom and I look so much alike. It's crazy. She, she is the same age as my mother. And they do yeah. look very, very, very similar. I showed Donna a photo of her. Yeah, she showed me a photo on his frame, when, on his picture, when he came down here. And I was like, oh, my God, your mother and I could be twins. <laughs> They're really good. I know. It's so funny. So this looks like a stamp. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, um, of the Wizard of Oz. White t-shirt. Small, and there's the writing. Right there, let's see what it says. Copyright right. the Wizard of Oz. Take over the show. I'll be back. I'm going to go try to find some jewelry. Okay. 1990. So, 30-year-old shirt. Tracker's in the beginning. Let's go. Okay. Let's start there. 1990 Turner Entertainment Company, all rights reserved. And I can't take it out, but I really don't want to. Because it is probably pristine inside this bag. And actually has it on the side there as well. United States Postal Service copyright 1990, non exclusive licensee of the United States Postal Service. So, yeah, definitely a stamp. We got Steve at 20 Strikers out. Flipping fresh box, fresh flipping fresh fox. Hello, I've not seen your name before. Welcome. Yes, definitely vintage. Thirty-year-old shirt. And the tag says fifty percent cotton, fifty percent polyester. It's hard to read through that plastic. Wizard of Oz shirt. If I had to guess, this is probably the bag that it came in from the post office. Joy has a two. We're looking for 24, Joy. Jim Bennett says Vintage Self was in college in that year. Awesome. And the colors look amazing. Like I said, it's probably never been out of the bag. Hoover says, remembers those? They look like the original bag. Yep, probably is. Be my guess. This was this guy was a mega collector. So you got we have Oz. That's Oz back there in the background. Dorothy Toto, and of course the yellow brick road. I'm 
Mom G, do you know if, if you can tell on the collar if it's single or is it just on the on the sleeves, on the stitching? Do you know? It could be on both. Could be on both. Um, yeah, what year did you say it was? 1990, 90. Let's try that. That glares. Yeah, I can't see it through the yeah, plastic. Thick. No, whether it's single. Plastic. Usually you can tell on the sleeves and the cuff. It's kind of here. a wide collar. You can see yeah. there's one line and then right. there's the actual edge of the collar. Right. USA, made in USA. That tag is single stitch. Oh, and that, okay. Green Star's Best, made in USA. Well, yeah, if you look at it that way, Chris, and you look at the, where the tag is right above it, there looks like there's one single stitch along the top of that seam. Uh, along that line right above the tag, yeah. Right, and then right above it again, there's another stitch that looks single. That's right, yep. I agree. Sexton says it is. We have Jill at 42 right now. Jill says she did not get married that year. Okay. <laughs> no problem, Jill. My, let's see. My little sister was born that year. All right, we got Jill looking for 44 or more, Larry. Larry's back in. Nineteen ninety. Mark there and there. Mm -hmm. So thirty nine would have been the original year that Wizard of Oz came out, the movie, and then ninety is the year of the shirt. All right, Larry's out. Flipping it. Okay, wait a good. minute. I have a question real quick. Go ahead. Flipping, flipping it good said what year for the T? 46. And then he bid 46. I just want to make sure I'm not messing oh, up. No, here. The, the year is 1990. 1990. Right. And it's like I said, the 1939 is the year of the movie. 1990 is the t shirt. So it's smart right. there and on this side, USPS 1990. So that was, I'm guessing the year that this stamp came out, 1990. So the post office has a copyright on that image of the stamp as well. Okay, he just verified what I needed him to, that his bid was for the 46, and Larry's out, and I just need to know what Jill wants to do. Okay. Jill's out. We're going to sell it. Flipping it good. Going to us.
Yeah, it's a very cool shirt, Joe. Absolutely. I've never seen one. Yes, flipping it good. I did get those invoices out earlier tonight, but I will send an additional invoice tomorrow for you and then put them together. All right. So, 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 so. Thank you, sir. All right. Are you back, Donna? Yep, I'm back. Oh. I sold one piece of clothes. <laughs> oh, no. I sold one shirt while you are gone. What are you doing? It's a cool shirt, though. They were fighting over it. All right. So I brought a Brighton piece. <clears throat> it does come with the Brighton pouch. And it's a Brighton bracelet. Let me see if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic. <clears throat> um, let me put it on this little stand here. It's got a cute little heart. And there you have it. That's got the big toggle clasp. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's got a B on it for Brighton. It's a $5 start. Let me see if it has the B on it. Hold on. The Donna Loop. The Donna Loop. No, I don't know if this is Brighton. Hold on a second. Hold on, folks. Hold your horses. The bag, the bag looks it though. It says DY on it. And it's 925. It's not Brighton. It says 925. It's a 925 bracelet. Sorry. Just in sorry. the wrong in the wrong so, bag. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so it's a 925 bracelet. Now I'm gonna have to find my scale because I'm sure people are gonna be like, how much does it weigh? Here's my scale. I'm going to tell you how much it weighs. The uh, the chain and charm is marked. 22.6 ounces. Let's see. Yes. No, it's not marked 925. It's marked 750. 750? 750. What's 750? Mm, you may want to test that one. Why? S well, so in other countries, they use 750 instead of a K marking. Stamp. So it's gold. So it's white gold is what you're saying. It's very possible that you need possible. to test it. I, I'm not... 100%. Because there's yep. also countries that use 750 as a 75% silver marking. Okay, so here's the deal, you guys. The charm, David Human is uh, one guess. Oh, is it, it is. Is it extraordinarily heavy? Yes. It's a David Yerman piece. That's what it is. It's a David Yerman piece. They're right. It's a 750 David Yerman piece. How how do you like that? Is it All really right, heavy? Guys. Is it really, really heavy? Yes. Yeah. You may want to you may want to test that one. 22.6 grams. Jill comes in at a hundred. Thank you, guys. Jeez, I almost sold that as a Brighton piece. <clears throat> somebody, somebody just put it in the wrong bag. No, I just I saw the heart. I saw the heart, and I oh thought, right there, okay. Yeah, and I thought it was a Brighton piece, but then when I turned it around, it said D Y on it. So it's yeah, it's David Yerman, you guys. This is expensive. So there you have it. 
You, you have reserve on this piece? Um, I probably should, but I'm probably just going to um, trust my viewers to give me a really good price on it. And you couldn't wait. The wait was what? Chris is like, you're crazy, Donna. Woodbine yeah, girl. You, you might, well, it's yours. You, you, I would test it, but yeah, if you're going to sell it, sell it. I, I mean, I can't back out now. They're bidding. Yeah, I don't back out. We'll see where it goes. Mookie says you are cray. My husband? <laughs> No, Mookie says you are Cray. Oh, Mookie. Hi, Mookie. Yeah, David Yerman. It's a beautiful David Yerman piece. Let me turn the heart around so you can see where it says David Yerman. And it's, um, and it says 925 on it. I mean, it says 750 on it. Right there, see it? Mm, it's on which piece? Right there on the heart, D-Y. Oh, the D-Y, yep. Right in the middle, right in the center. So it's 18 carat. This is expensive. Yeah, yeah. Jill knows. She just came in at 250 It's a lot of gold here. Not to mention it's David Yerman. And you said the weight again was 22. I'm going to show you where it says 750. See it? On the square. Yep. Yep. See it right there? 750. It's upside down. And I said the weight was 22.57. Nice. Yes. Very nice. And they, I'm not familiar with Yerman. Is he um, European? Um, like all, all I know, I don't really know. I'm not really familiar with David Yerman either. I just know that he's a very expensive designer. Yes, it says seven five zero on the bracelet. It says nine two five on the on the charm, Jill. It has both numbers. Jill wants to know: Does it also say nine two five? Yes, it says nine two five on the charm, the little charm, the heart. Nine two five, but the bracelet says seven five zero. Gotcha. Yeah, it's both pieces are marked. And that's, I think that chain is typical of a David Yerman design. Okay. Treasure Hustlers Sarah is saying it's sterling silver and she believes the heart is lined with 18 karat gold. I don't know. And the seven, retracting. The 750 is not on the charm. It's on the actual bracelet. The 750 is on the bracelet. The 925 is on, on the heart. On the heart. Yeah. On the heart. But the bracelet is 750. Shelly's saying he's a designer of New York. Bracelet is 18 carat and the charm is silver. LC is saying, yeah. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Oh, yeah. It's 11 11 for you. 11 11. All right. Okay. Well, I will, I will, uh, 
I probably know Jill. I won't sell it for 150. I think it's probably worth a lot more than that. Because the, the bracelet itself is 18 karat. And Jill's asking 200. Um, what's the price of silver, Chris? Well, you you wouldn't have to worry about silver on that one. I mean, gold. Eight, uh, eighteen and change. Eighteen sixty, I think, is the last I seen. Somebody yeah. just wow. dropped something in the chat, and we don't normally do that, but. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It, it may be something you want to just get checked. That way you can sell it. Tamara and Woodbine Girl think we should get it checked out. Yep. I'd love to sell it. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me Donna, look, look at Toggle. Toggle should have both. It does. 925 and 750 mark is what Andrea said. Okay. Let me look one more time. On the toggle, the toggle class. Yeah, the toggle has on it. I'm going to tell you right now. Nine two five and seven five zero. Just so what Andrea, both. Yep, just what Andrea said. So it is accented with. See it. Gotcha. Uh, Trisha is saying just found the exact bracelet and it's pricey. Jen is saying get it checked out or I'd get it checked out too. Jade, no harm, no foul. Get it checked, then sell it. Let's Play says it's worth 800 but we don't do that and I can't delete it. Yeah, so it's marked both. So yeah, accented. It's silver bracelet accented with 18 karat gold. There's no, there's no gold on the bracelet. Gold None. coloring at all? None whatsoever. Hmm. But the heart has gold coloring. Just the heart. Okay. Well, that is a unique piece then. Yeah, I'm not familiar with his work, so I can't I don't have a lot of input on that one. What do you think, Jill? What's your best offer? Yeah, Treasure Hustlers, the, the heart does look like it has a gold around the around yeah, the, the gold. The, gold color. Yeah, the gold is on the heart. Can you weigh just the heart? No. Not without taking it off. It's okay. soldered on. Yeah. It's part of it's part of the unit. Ed says he has one of these bracelets. It's cable heart two tone charm bracelet. Jill says two ten. <laughs> she went up ten dollars. She went up ten for you. <laughs> Maybe it's missing charms. I don't think so. Well, it's probably one like any of the other charm um, bracelets. You you buy the bracelet and add the charms as you you buy them. There's no gold links on this bracelet. It is just um. It is just silver or gold. Huh. All right, so you're at 210, 225 now, Jill's offering. So up to you, your piece. It is up to you. It's marked right there. See it on the bottom of the heart? Under the DY, yep. Yep. It's got all the markings right there. 
So it's both marked. The yeah, it's the, it's the bracelet and the charm is both marked. Um. Yeah, Tony, that's what I was thinking. Jill, if you want to do three hundred on it, I'll sell it. Three hundred reserve. Uber says it's like a nail biter. Right. Watching the offers come in. You never know. You never know what, what, what Donna has. You, you never know what Donna has. How many times have you been on with me and this has happened? Andrea, any more bids? Oh, she Andrea bought a $12 brooch from me, listed it tonight, and got a $180 offer on it. Sell it. <laughs> Kelly's laughing. She's like, $5 start. <laughs> Brighton. Yeah, we started with Brighton. I thought it was Brighton. Okay, Rise Up is saying to get it checked. It's not an $800 piece. That's fine. Well, you can check the private chat for the link I dropped and you can see what it was selling, what it's selling for. All right. Well, Jill's the only one that's interested in it. Jill, what do you think? Do you want to do 300 for it? She's out. Jill's out. Okay. Oh, no worries. All right. I'm going to accept Jill's offer of $225. Uh oh. Does oh. any does anybody else want to come in at better than $225? If not, Jill, if your offer of two twenty five still stands, I'm going to sell it to you for two twenty five. Unless anybody else wants to come in, because I know me. You you won't get it checked. She says two twenty five is standing. I won't, standing I won't get it offer. checked. All right, count it down, Mama G. Anybody else? Going once. It's going to sell. It's going to sell. Here's your chance. Twice. Sold to that random girl, Jill, for 225 And you get it in a Brighton bag. Congrats, <laughs> Jill. That's but that's where it all started. And that's where it all started. Lot number 44. Two Jill for 225. For the Brighton Yerman bracelet. <laughs> Congratulations, Jill. It will look lovely on your wrist. I wonder if she'll keep it. Thank you, Jill. She'll I'm glad that. you got it. You deserve it, honey. You're a good customer. She will keep that one. That was lot number 44. It sold for $225. I go <clears throat> from selling $5 shirts to selling $225 David German bracelets. <laughs> oh, Andrea Baker just said she got a higher offer on that piece you were talking about. Did you? $200 offer just now. No way, Andrea. Now sell it. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, the one she has, the one she bought from me is rare. She's like, she can't even find, find the a same comp. one. Yeah, she found similar ones, but she can't even find. I'd say hold out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say sell it. She says hold out. I say hold out. Jill All wants right, to know so. if anybody wants to buy the Prada sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> to, to pay for the bracelet. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, this is what I this is the other jewelry bag that I that I grabbed. Um, oh, this looks like silver in here. So it says matched earring bag. So these are all matches. Let me see if this is silver. I don't see it marked, but I can't say shit. 
I've got my glasses on. But I'll show you what's in here. I'm just going to sell the whole bag. Who paired them up for you? My daughter. Okay. My daughter paired them up. And she doesn't check for stuff. Oh, there's a Walt Disney pair in here. Walt Disney. Okay, this is the bag. This is the bag. How much? How much? Let's uh, let's start it at five. Let's have some fun. Oh, you want to see the brooch? I'll show it to you, Jade. Hold on, because she sent me a picture of it. Oh, the one that you're saying hold out on? Yeah, I want to see this brooch. Okay. Someone, just... found, someone found the bracelet. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. There it is. The identical bracelet. Mm -hmm. Joe, you got a good deal, honey. Um, okay, I'll show you the pen. I'll show you the, so this, this is the one that I sold her. Yeah. I need to start looking for these. Apparently. Let me see. That's what it's I sold her. Blue stone fleur de -lis. Yep. Hey, Virginia. And she was looking for similar ones, but she couldn't find them. And then look at the prices on the ones. Like that one right there, rare Trafari. Look at oh wow, thousand one hundred and forty-two. So if she's getting bids like right out of the gate, oh, two hundred dollar bids, it's got to be like super super rare. So don't sell it. Don't sell it. <laughs> and it, she got it in a lot from you. Show the picture again. Yeah, she got no. I was selling brooches. Um, I was selling, I was doing $5 brooches, best offer, and she bid it up to 12. Awesome. 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 Flipping it good. Wanted to see the picture of it again. Yeah, I did. A, I did one night when I was just doing all just, um, brooches, like just, you know, just brooches. Cool. All right. Do we have a count on the earrings? No. You want me to count them? I can't count them. Well, you're up to twenty dollar bit. So there's some old ones in here. I don't know if they're marked or not marked. You know me. Oh, these are definitely Anne Klein. That's an Anne Klein um, tiger. I know that for sure. All right. She's had four offers just tonight. That's incredible. That's crazy. Are they clip on? No. They're pierced. They're all pierced earrings. All right, what do you think, you guys? Anybody interested in the bag? I have a high bit of Scotty for 20. All right, Scotty. Cool. Late night comes in at 22. Is it very pricey? I sent it out. I sent it out because um, I didn't get a response from Paul, so I just sent it to him. I didn't want to take like the most expensive belt buckle from him. Did uh, I link? I wanted it for my son. That's all. He's all into you know, like, sorry, uh, for interrupting you, Chris. No, no, go ahead. He's all into like NRA stuff and, you know, gun stuff and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, what were you saying? Uh, oh, okay. No, the um, picture that she sent you, that was on her Etsy store? 
Um, I don't know, Andrea. Did you put it on Etsy or what? I don't know where you. I don't know where she put it. She didn't tell me. Oh, okay. Did it have the pricing that what she was asking for it there? Quick recap: What's in the bag? All earrings. <laughs> Late night. We, yeah, we, we forgot what we were bidding on. All earrings. Just I all think Andrea said Etsy, eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. She sells on all. Oh, she's got on four four platforms. Awesome. Okay, so she put in what she's asking for it there. Yes, pierced, late night, pierced. Yes, they're all pierced. Scotty's at 28. And by the way, Donna, yes, that sir. lamp is still amazing every time I see it. I love it so much, Chris. It's like, I love it. If, so, if I would have had it working like that, when I had it, it probably wouldn't have got sold. Really? Yeah. You know how long it took me to get the bulb for it? <laughs> I, I never tried, so I can't tell I you. love it. And you know, <clears throat> it probably had been shuffled around a lot because it had a lot of, um, like the, the glass was very um, kind of like, foggy but the more it worked the more um clear it got yeah like it cleared up awesome yeah well so and I, it's what 40 years old right i turn it off for a minute and just let it all settle down and then when the lava starts like it'll cool down for a few minutes and then when i turn it back on it's it's so super cool yeah i love it Okay, let's um going twice. Let's sell it for the earring bag. We're gonna sell it to Scotty. So Scotty seven seven seven. Congratulations. Uh, it's lot number forty five. And what did he pay for it? Two eight. Twenty eight. Twenty eight dollars to Scotty. For the earrings. Okay. Thank you, Scotty. All right. So let me see if this is gold or silver. Here we go again. There we go. <laughs> my phone. <laughs> Where is my phone? Okay. It's not sticking. I have a magnet on my phone. And it's marked something. Hold on. Get the Donna loop out. Okay. It's it's 18 carat. Well, you're just pulling out some awesome jewelry tonight. No, no, no. Wait a minute. It's 18 carat gold plated. So it's not all 18 carat. It's just 18 carat gold plated. And... um. These are real pearls. Schreiger says, says it looks like Brighton. It looks like Prada. <laughs> Brighton. Brighton. Like, looks like Brighton. <laughs> Where's my little thing here? This is really, really sweet. I'll give you the inches. It's it's 18 karat gold plated, you guys, but it's it's nice quality. Um and real pearls. It's real pearls, yeah. It's 18. Um, eight and eight, it's eight and a half, and it's eight and a half inches. Seven, 17 inches. 17 inches. Thank you. Which is I'll show it to you. Odd size. It's really sweet. And there's the loop or the uh, link it's for the loop. loop. If anyone would like one, it's the Donna loop. Okay, I'll show it to you. Nice. Yeah, it's really sweet. And that is a silver tone, correct? There's no. Yep. But 18K gold plate. 
Yeah, it says gold plate, not gold filled. Yeah. Gold plate. So that would be a white gold plate. How much are we starting this at? Let's start it at five. With those pretty pearls. I affectionately refer to this type of jewelry as bijoteria. Right? Bijoteria, right? Right, Edge Frida? Bijoteria. So it's when jewelry is, and it's an Italian word for fine costume jewelry, is bijoteria. That's right. Anybody interested in the cute little pearl necklace? My daughter wears something like this every day around her neck. It's so pretty on her, so dainty. If there's no interest, we'll pass. And we'll show this one. Moni loves it, five. Okay. Let me see what this one is marked. This one is marked... Nothing on that side. Wait, wait, wait on telling us on that one. <laughs> this one is marked Italy 925. Italy 925 on this one. All right. So Andrea Baker has another question for you, Donna. Yes, honey. She got a new offer. <sighs> do not sell it. <laughs> Andrea, do not sell it. Sell it. Sell it. I would don't sell it. Sell it, Andrea. This, she, only, she only just listed it today. I know, but did you see what she has it listed for? She put it in the chat. No. She has it listed for $2.99. Oh, I would take that baby down. Hmm? I, I would. She has it listed for $2.99. She needs to take that down. Take it down. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't have it listed for high enough. Oh, you're saying take the price up. Yes. She needs to take it down and wait a week and put it back up. Okay. Well, there's your advice, Andrea. Andrea, you need to take that down. That's way too many high offers in way too short a time. That little pearl necklace sold to Moni Love. Okay. For seven. Okay. It's really cute, Mooney Love. Sorry, Mary Ness. You were just a second behind me putting soul. Two. No, no, Donna, for five. Mooney Love, five. Oh, for five? Yeah. What'd I say? You said seven. Sorry. She's tired. She's been doing this all day. Since early this morning. You went through a lot of numbers today. <laughs> Mama G, you need to go, go to bed, honey. Yeah, I will. I will soon. Okay. Let me put Moni Love on this one. Everybody's telling, the, telling her to add a zero to that brooch price. Yeah. I'm telling you, Andrea, take it down. Take it down, Andrea. Take it down. Stick it in, in a drawer for about a week or two, and then just say that the, there was an error in the pricing. And then, um, hey, Pat D's, hi, sweetheart. Um, and then and then relist it. That's what I would do. What? Pat? I didn't see Pat. Where's Pat? You don't have it priced high enough. It's rare. You said yourself you can't find it. There's Pat. What's up, Pat? Anything with a floor de lis de design on it is nice. Hi, Saxton Cole. Okay, this is 925. The necklace is 925. And let me see if the charm is marked 925. Well, it looks like it's 925. I don't want to look so hard. If it's from different people, raise the price. <laughs> I 
I can't find the marking on the on the thing. You guys will have to look for it. But I'm going to say it's probably silver. And here you have it. Can you see it? Oh yeah, it's like an amber color. Yeah, it's it's definitely um, I would say amber and it's silver with the silver chain. And I'm gonna start it at twenty. What's the uh, inclusion in there? That's just the amber. It's the sap. Right, right. But is there a, is there insect or anything inside there? No, I'm always looking for one with an insect because my mother had one with an insect. No, they're bubbles. Just air bubbles? Air, yep. air pockets? Yep. yep, air pockets, air bubbles. Tiny bubbles. <laughs> Tiny bubbles. Yeah, so they were saying I look like Don Ho. I guess. I'll have to get the album and see. He's, he's Hawaiian. I don't look anything like a Hawaiian guy. Tamara's in at 20. Yeah, that's a, a large piece of Hi, June bug. pendant. Absolutely. Where's my loop? Here. Yeah, the, the color's hard to pick up on that black background. I know. And I have my light colored um, here. I have one right here. I've used this marker so much today that it's worn out. That's a good thing. Okay, here you go. Oh yeah, there you go. Absolutely, you can tell. Twenty-five to Autumn Grace. You're right. I forgot we were taking dollar bids. Sorry. That's all right. She's not here. We don't have rules. <laughs> Give us some big lots, too. Ooh, Saxton. Saxton. Saxton wants some resale lots. Sexton, I have a nice resale lot right here that I'm going to offer as a buy it now. Let's see if you want it. I sold two of them today, and I think I have enough to do two more. I'll show it to you in a minute. And the, the top of that pin, it's like leaves, right? Yeah. Yeah, like a leaf look. It's really nice. Definitely one of a kind piece. Yes, it's very beautiful. Get Autumn back in at 30. Sandy at 32. Oh, but it's beautiful. Thank you. FYI, Ed Jafrida is saying she should take it down and the listing, bring it to a jeweler. There is a broad range with what she has. It could be worth a lot more. What's that? Andrea Baker's on the Cordially brooch. Yeah, the she broke, can't broke. find it. She can't find it. So he I would think take it to a jeweler. Andrea, wow. I saw some of them in there for a thousand dollars. I would I would put it on eBay starting bid one thousand dollars. What do you got to lose? Put it on for a five day sale. If it doesn't sell, then reduce the price and list it again the week after. Well, you get 12 amazing. bucks into it. It's not like you put That's amazing. I, I know. You get $12 into it, Andrea. It's not like you invested like $500 and you want to make your money back. You're right. Autumn is at 35. Sandy says she's out. Go on once. Miss Martha. And Ed is a collector of crown trafari i would have never known that does he 
So, Autumn Grace. Nice piece, Autumn. Okay. Um, so, Miss Martha, could you tell me the price, please? Three five. Thirty five. Thank you. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to show you, Sexton Cole. This is what I have. Um, I resale lot. Yeah, he was looking for a resale lot. Yeah, and then I'm going to pass it over to you, Chris, and you can sell a few lots. Okay. Janine, I did not, but I will check that email account tomorrow. So I will get back to you. I see it. Um, All right, and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. I made a mistake on my numbers. Was that 47, Mama G? Yes, I have it as 47. Okay, I wrote it as 48. So let me just change this to 48 and this one to 47. Okay, and then I'll cross this out. Okay. All right. So I sold two lots of these earlier. There's um, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's, there are 40 pins all together. Okay. I have enough to fill. They sold for 70. I sold two lots for 70. I thought maybe I would post the others on eBay, but I'd love to sell what I have left. I think I have enough to do two more lots. So, um, so I'd like to sell them for 70. Um, but I'll throw in for my late night crew, I'll throw in an additional 10. So you'll get, so there's, uh, 20, 40, so you get 50 pieces all together. If you're interested, okay, for $70, you'll get 50 pieces. And it is Zonta. And just so that you know, these Zonta are, they're stick pins, but they don't have the bottoms. These Zonta have the bottoms. And then these Zonta are just pins and they all have their backs. So you will get 50 pieces of the Zonta. Really, really easy. You just... Is this a buy it now? Yep. It's going to be a buy it now. And you're going to get 10 extra from my late night crew of the Zonta. So Schreiker wants one. Fifty pieces. Twenty. Wait a minute. Twenty forty. Yeah, fifty pieces. Um. Does anybody else want one? I think I can do. Almost positive. I can do two more. Shreker would like two. Okay. Thank you, Shriker. You guys can corner the market on it. If you look them up, they sell. There's not a lot of them listed. They must be rare because there's very, very few listed because I did look them up just because I had no idea what I had. Do you know what Zonta, Zonta stands for? I know you do, Mama G. Pamela, they're pins. They're pins. And Zonta is a, it's a woman's group. Like, um, like, you know, I don't know. I don't want to compare it to like Knights of Columbus, but it's a, it's a woman's group. And they, um, what is wrong with my phone? I'm trying to figure out. Got a corner of the market. You have too many. Yeah, right? Well, who wants the last lot then? Did you say you had one more? I think I have one more, yeah. I have enough to do one more. 
Yep, if you corner the market, then it's that you're smart cornering the market on it. But you'll get to know me. I always say I'm going to post something and I don't. Zonta expands opportunities for women and girls through our international education program. Zonta stands for Women's Rights. We advocate for equal equality, education, and to the end of a child marriage and gender-based violence. That's what Zonta stands for. Shriker, you can let me know. You can let me know. Um, Chris, are you getting ready? Well, yes. he's are you ready? Or yes. Are you you want to want me to give you another minute? No. Ready when you are. Donna, I'm not going to be able to last much longer. Do you want me to send your email with the lots that I have up to right now? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. That would be fantastic. Are you going to turn on your camera, Chris? Are you ready? Hi, Kathy. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, okay. So. Oh, cute. Look. Florida. Cute. So it's a bobblehead. Love that. And a piggy bank. Oh my gosh, that is that did you look that up? That's gotta be rare and collectible. Piggy bank. And it's marked here. Uh let's see. Let me get the camera just right. Kenmar. And it's ceramic. Is it ceramic? So how many times have you ever seen a ceramic bobblehead? Never. Never. I've never seen one. Never. It's ceramic. You know That's how many? Crazy. I'm sure they all broke. You can't find one of these anywhere. Hi, Brandon. Welcome in. I'm selling cookies and coffee for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> five bucks. Let's go. That sounds like a good starting price. Some black oh. Americana. Hoover, thank you so much. I'll take you up on your offer. Thank you. Wow, that is amazing, Chris. It is first one I've ever seen. And the height is five and a half inches tall. Yeah, it's a bobblehead. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And, you know, Florida. I had to bring it because. Yeah. Your Florida connection. Chris, right. did you say five or 45? Five, five bucks. Let's go. We'll have some fun. Okay. Amazing piece. Steve Bash, isn't it great? I love it. I can't believe the the work on the orange. It looks so real. Yeah, no, it, and it's act like orange size. I mean, there's in in my hand. It's a, you know, it's size big. of a real orange. But who would have ever thought to combine a bobblehead, a piggy bank, and Florida, and, <laughs> and a an little, orange, and a little black girl with boobs. <laughs> Is it a girl? I guess so. Uh, she's got boobs. Yeah, I guess so. She's missing her bra. <laughs> her bikini top? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I mean, she definitely has boobs. Okay. He's like, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Lipstick, right? He's like, all right, Donna. Okay. The pink lips, right? So. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Yeah. Piggy bank. And you got the stopper. So Kenmar, Japan. <laughs> I put Kenmore. <laughs> Kenmore? Like like the, the Yeah. <laughs> okay, everybody in the chat. Good night. Night, Donna. <laughs> night, Chris. Night, sweetheart. We love night, you so Mama much. G, thank you. Thank you so much, Mama G. We love you. You're welcome, honey. Love you guys, too. Yeah, definitely. I've never seen one. So. Ooh.
Pamela's in at 21. Seriously? What's that? I need to go get a snack. Grapes? Is it grape time? No, that's... I, I saved the grapes for just before I go to bed. Scotty's calling it a black Americana nodder. So, yeah. Bobblehead nodder. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you something. Anything that's like black Americana like that is so valuable. Well, and, and what gets me is it's ceramic and it's survived all these years. It's so sought after. I love it. When I seen it, I was like amazed that someone in Japan put this or had this made in Japan, rather, the company, right? To put all these things together. Bobblehead, piggy bank, Florida, orange, and being ceramic. I was like, who thought of that in the first place? I was really impressed. The maker, Jill, is Kenmore. Kenmore, Kenmore Japan. I smell exhaust. It's so weird. Smell what? Exhaust. Mm. Okay. I you know, right? You're not in the garage, are you? No. <laughs> no, and I don't know. Oh, I love the sound of the train. Train's coming. I love that. All right, we got Joy 28. Pamela's back in at 30. I'll be for, right back. Okay. Looking for 30. One or more. I guess we're doing one dollar night tonight. Chris, did you tell me how tall it was? Uh, the total height, yes, was five and a half. Thanks. Five and a half inches on on the little bow head. And being ceramic, I did not see any chips or missing paint, anything on this guy or girl. I mean, just immaculate condition. But yeah, piggy bank, bobblehead, get it all. All in one, real cool piece. Hoover's is out. Have a good night, Hoover's. Pamela's at 32. Joy. We, Trisha says it's probably from the 1940s. Yeah, I would definitely guess the 40s. Probably late 40s. Very rare. Yeah, I, I would assume so. I've never seen one. Never even heard of one. Joy's out. All right, we're going to sell it to Pamela. Going twice.
All right, we are sold, sold, sold to Pamela for $32. And if you would, Pamela, please shoot me an email. I believe that's your first win from me. I would appreciate it. And Mama G is still here. She didn't go to bed. She dropped my uh, email. Thank you, Mama G. And we're going to call welcome. that Black Americana bobblehead good goodbye only one I think this, is ever seen. this is pamela from mr buys a lot oh okay gotcha i did not know that well please still shoot me an email unless For you sure. send, unless you want me to send the uh invoice to to brian to brian Oh, that's a good idea. I can do that. I've got his info. <laughs> I've got his info. All right. We got a troll lot. I don't even know how many are in this bag. We got there. Two, four. Can't see under all the hair. Two, four, six, seven. Eight trolls. Ten bucks. Let's go. Oh, she is not Pamela from Mr. Rise a lot, so don't do that. But oh, I did okay. put your email in there. Yeah. Well, please shoot me an email, Pamela. That way I have your uh, your contact info. Appreciate it. So we've got some trolls. Let's see. We've got the markings on these guys here. Uh, so Ace novelty company on that one it's coming out of its clothes put that back same thing here ace novelty company don't see a year on that one that one is not marked this little turtle guy he needs a little help with his hair it is marked 1993 Mirage Studios on the back of him. That one we've got just a country stamp. I don't see anything on the back. This one has copyright 1991 stamped on the foot. This one has 1986 on the foot of that one and then 1991 on that pink haired one there so there are the three well i guess two yellow hair two green one blue one pink one bright pink and then the one ninja turtle that needs a little help with his hair so two, four, six, eight pieces. Get them all. Joy's in at twenty six. Kathy's in at thirty. I knew Joy would bid. Joy she bought some trolls for me earlier today. She loves them. Yeah, she bought some earlier today for me. No, Virginia, I'm here. I just went and got something to eat. I don't know what was burning. Maybe I just thought I smelt something. Virginia says the turtle. Yeah, the tur I've never seen a Ninja Turtle troll before. That's funny. He, like I said, his hair is a little unglued, but it's still holding. He Aren't we all just a little bit unglued? Yeah, but he's it's still there. But he needs a little help. But no, I've never seen a Ninja Turtle troll before, ever. That's a good Another new piece that I've never seen. Good luck on your interview, 
Virginia. Mama G still in the chat. She's still, yes. <laughs> she just was tricking us that she was leaving. <laughs> she said good night. I know. And then I started looking up that piece Chris had. That uh, the black Americana piece, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. You can stay as long as you want to. Yeah, I'm no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi Resell says trolls are cute little critters. That's I've never cute. seen one with the mouth open like that. Which one? The this one? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. He's like in like a clown outfit too. Polka dot with the big, that big collar. It's funny. So adorable. Pamela says you have the best giggle in town, Mama G. Uh oh, I, oh, I muted not. myself because I was laughing too hard. I said, oh. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're sold. Cake, where are we at? Hold on. I missed something. Ed, did we miss you there? He was a little too late. Yep. All right. KK got him for 30. Refresh, Ed. Sorry, buddy. I may, I'm may. i not going to have any more today. That's for sure. But there may be some more out of that storage unit. You never know. Right. One more, then you ready? Um, Donna? Mm, take your time. Take my time. Postcard lot. Huge lot. There's that many. Does that look familiar, Don? Key West. Key West. Look, just how short, look how short the palm trees were. I know. Ten bucks, let's go. There's another Key West. When you come back down to Florida, we're taking a ride to Key West, me and you. Well, see, I, I went to Key Largo mm -hmm. for dinner, and then I turned around and came back. No, Key West is too far. No, I know. That's like an extra two hours away from yeah. where I was. Donna, did you take one of Sandy's cookies and coffee? Because that'll be five bucks, please. <laughs> no. Right. I'm eating Indian food. So that one's got postmark 1910 on it. Budweiser, Budweiser, and I've been to this brewery in St. Louis. Some used, some unused, so there's 1974. Let's run through some of these real quick. There's a googly, googly eyed. Girl, there's something. There's another Florida. What does it say? The oldest house, St. Augustine, Florida. Most people don't know that St. Augustine, Florida, was mm -hmm. the first settlement in the U uh, U.S. It's beautiful there. Have you ever been? I have not. Mm. I know that one. That's New Orleans. So it looks Saint like a Augustine, lot. St. Augustine's is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
Well, most people are, are taught that it's, um, you know, Jamestown was the first settlement, but St. Augustine was actually the first settlement in the United States, which it wasn't the U.S. then, but. My husband and I brought the children there several times when they were younger. There's another one. Saint Augustine. Alabama, Florida. These look a little newer on those. There's a native card. Nope, oh, there's another Key West. Look, no high rises yet. <laughs> wow. And there's the highway, right? Yep, the bridge. Seven mile bridge. Yeah, a lot of vacation spots. A lot of Florida, actually, it surprises me. Because these, these came out of uh, that Kansas estate as well. There's another Florida. That's Florida. 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 Another Key West. That's some shrimp boats in Florida. Another Florida. There's a Miami picture. Is that the Polo Club? That's a horse track in Florida. In Miami. They must have uh, visited Florida a lot. Right, vacation. All right, let me run through these a little faster. So, yeah, a lot of vacation spots for sure. Uh, what we have here? Wyoming. Wyoming. There's a Canada. Grand Tetons in Wyoming. A lot of vacation. Of course, Mount Rushmore. A lot of vacation. There's an oldie. That's black and white. The bridge over Suwanee River at Fleming's or Fanning Springs, Florida. That bridge is probably no longer there. There's the capital of Kansas State House. Oh, that's Baton Rouge. It's the old uh, Capitol building or uh, courthouse in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Bridges. All right, where are we at? Huge. <clears throat> I, I see know. Sandra at 26. 100 plus, I would say. Easy. Steve Bash is out. High bid is Sandra, $26. We're going to go once. Sell it. Jill says there still aren't any high rises on Key West. Really? I have mm. not been there. There's, um, no, there's no high rises, but there's, you know, like probably f six story buildings. Yeah, taller than the trees, right? I mean, 24. Yeah, taller than the trees. trees. The hotel I stayed at was, had, had, you know, six um, floors. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Shrikers in. Yeah. I don't know. Out. I'm guessing a hundred striker. I 
I like the new background. What this? The wood? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's just a work disc. I know, but I like it. <laughs> it's the natural look. Yeah, I love the natural wood. It looks really pretty. You don't like the, the cardboard look? No. <laughs> okay. No. I can start using the wood. I think the card I think the um the it's wood looks really nice. Well, you're the first person to say that. Thank you. Well, you know, some people get shy and don't want to say anything. All right, we're going to sell them the striker. On a postcard lot. And striker, I have your info, so no need to email me again. We'll send an invoice. Thank you, sir. All right, are you ready yet, Donna? You need me to I am. Rock and roll. I is. I is. Let me just put this here, and I'm gonna do a plush lot. And it's about 14 minutes past my pumpkin time. And I turned my candle back, my candle, my lava lamp back on. You see how now it's like. Okay, let's see. Chesney put these together for me, so I don't know what's in them. Let's start them at 25. And the first one is the Tasmanian Devil. That's a large plush, too. Yeah. There's Taz. Here is... It's a Fiesta toy. It's a large one, too. It's a giraffe. And next we have... Come out, come out. This one is a Build-A-Bear with a little love shirt on. Is stuff inside. Love is stuff inside. He's really cute. There's that one. And next we have, oh dear Lord. Oh, it's a Star Wars. It's a Star Wars one. Look at the face on this thing. What is that? I have no idea, but it's a Star Wars. It's a Star like Wars a, plush. It's like a cross between an owl and a penguin. I know, right? What is that? It's got to be a Star Wars. <laughs> it's got to be a Star Wars creature. I mean, I have no idea. <clears throat> That's funny. And here is a Webkins, and it has the numbers with it. Little white dog. And... A porg. They're calling that a porg. Here we have a Build-A-Bear with a shirt, but no pants. So he's a streaker. Nice camo shirt. It's a camo shirt, and he's got those cute boots on. And the last one in this lot is this guy. This is from Toy Story, I think. It's yep. a Disney. Yep. From Toy Story. 25 to start. Those were in the, um, the crane game, right? Of Toy Story. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four. Look at the boots. They look like they're leather. They look like real leather, yeah. No. That's four. This guy makes five. This one makes six. And Taz makes seven. Seven pieces of plush in this lot. Is there any interest? 
Any interest or pass? Is Mary Ness in the chat by any chance? I have not seen her, but she's probably sleeping. Mary Ness, are you here? Maybe not. Crown Royal, hello. Welcome in. Okay, we're we're passing on the plush lot. Okay, let's pass on the plush lot. Oh, Mary, is this what you're looking for? Is this the one that you're looking for? She said yes. Yes. Okay. Got it. Told you I had another one. All right. This is going to Mary Ness's house. Mary, I'll get it out for you tomorrow. All right, honey. She's like, yes, yes. She's been asking me for months. I do have a whole bunch more of these, but they're buried in my storage unit. I had hundreds of these. I sold literally hundreds of them months ago. And then I put the rest of them away because I felt like I flooded the market with them. You know, I do that. Like, you know, when I buy like, you know, quantities of stuff and then I put them away and then I'll, and then I'll bring them back. Okay. You guys, this is what I have. I have a whole bunch of these. I was going to do this in one lot, but I'm going to do it all in one. I'm going to, I was going to do it in several. I don't know. If, all right. I'm going to show you what it is. And Mary said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, honey. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that um, I was able to find them for you. You guys, you want me to do these in lots of four for like $5 a lot? Or do you want me to do one big? I have eight brown puppies. What you got? <laughs> what? You actually, you actually look amazing in that thing. <laughs> Chris, he's so funny. Look, look, <laughs> look, it looks way better than mine. <laughs> this is what I have. And I'll show you the colors. Tell me if you guys want me to do these. So I have, all right, I'll do four. I'll do four. I have a whole bunch of them. Let me see how many I can do. I have one, two. Okay. All right, let's do this so that it, so that everybody has a chance Let's start it at $5, okay? So this lot, you'll get blue, black, white, and navy. $5. Chris, you want me to send you one so we can, like, twin? <laughs> you have a gray one? <laughs> I, I don't know if I have a gray one. I'll have to look. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so five dollars to start. Auction. So everybody has a chance. Do an auction first, right? Yeah, we're gonna just yeah, we'll we'll do best offer on these. Okay. Best offer. So you get black. You got Michelle in it. Five. White, blue, and turquoise. The one that's in my head. Michelle is the only one that wants the hats. <laughs> Chris is looking at me like, you know, you could put a big brooch on the top of that. Thing. <laughs> Look See? Look at that. Asking you shall receive, Chris. It, oh, okay. And now put a big pair of Prada sunglasses on, too. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Can I pull it off? You if I went out, if I went out looking like this, you think people would like look at me funny? No. No. You'd get hit on. You're right. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I have no idea. I think it's something that like you put you put on like so that you don't get your hair wet, like when you're taking a shower. Maybe they're made so. out of terry cloth. I don't think so. I think that's to wear out and about. 
The meat the artist Mary Poppins. Corey Taylor says Jen <laughs> Joyce. She's like, you look very pretty, Donna. I look more like Persian with this on now, don't I? Yeah, they're like turbans. Okay, so let's give this one it's to um, to Michelle Petty's. Yep. For five dollars. Skull caps. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I have no idea. Michelle, you're going to get the pen for being such a good sport and buying that. There you go. Bonus. Bonus pen. <laughs> All, right. Hey, All right. Do you guys want to see more or is that it? Like nobody else was interested in them. I'm not going to show any more. I have a whole bag full of them. <laughs> Joyce says maybe it's for the kids' heads. No, it's adult it's, size, right? They're all adult, it's adult size. Yeah. Lot number forty-eight. Michelle says, "Thank you for the bonus." Um, and this is five dollars. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Kathy wants to take a lot of four. Okay, let me put this over here. Mm, wrong pile. This side. A lot of four for five bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, let me see. Let me see the next few colors I pull out. One, two, three, and four. So the next, the next set I have, you get pink. Pink. <laughs> you get See, I can just see you on the beach wearing that. Stop! First Seriously. of all, I don't even go to the beach. You know how many times I went to the beach this summer? Once. I worked all summer. Okay, so you get pink, turquoise, blue, and black. I'm still waiting on the auction from the beach that you keep promising. On what? The auction from the beach. I know, right? We should do it now since the weather's so beautiful. Lot 51. A lot of hats. Do you really want it, KK? Michelle Petty's wants the next set. She loves them. Telling you. Late night likes them too. All right, so you have to bid on this lot. So they're five dollars, five dollars start. So six dollars would be the next one, Michelle, or K or KK. KK was the first one that came in. She said five dollars. Late night says six. There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you put them on your head to take a shower so that your hair doesn't get wet. They're terry cloth. But wouldn't water go through terry cloth? Yeah, but you don't like it's not like you let the shower like it keeps like from the steam and stuff. Oh, okay. you take a shower, like, but not wash your hair. Okay. I take showers all the time and don't wash my hair. I, I only, I really only wash my hair. Yeah. I don't, I don't have that. I don't have that problem. <laughs> two, two, three times a week. It doesn't really, it doesn't get dirty because the only time I really wear it down is when I'm on live, the rest of the time it's up like in a bun or in a ponytail, like on the top of my head. So could yeah. all your hair fit underneath that hat? Yeah. No problem? No. Let's see. All right, I'll show you. Let's see. And I, have, I have a lot of hair. I know. So, yeah. And you so probably, you have what, five more months of growth now that I hadn't, since I've seen you. I know, I need to cut it. And I don't even use like elastics. I just like tie it up in a knot. I don't even have to like use an elastic to put my hair up or pin or anything. I just tie it in a knot and it just stays on the top of my head. It's kind of weird. My friends are like, I don't know anybody who can do that to their hair and just like not need elastics or. Oh yeah, no problem. Now I'm like ready for the shower. <laughs> Or the beach in the in the ocean with that. Now I'm ready to go take a shower. <laughs> How's that? 
<laughs> They're really kind of cute, right, you guys? <laughs> Shriker. You see what Shriker said? No. <laughs> Shriker is like, I think this is, wouldn't a Walmart bag work well? <laughs> Like is is this Sharker's first time at the at, like on my channel? He must be thinking, maybe, maybe. I, I've he's, I I, I've seen him before. Yeah, he must be thinking this chick is gone. <laughs> Shriker is Shriker a boy or a girl? I don't even know. <laughs> I I believe it's a guy. Shriker, are you a are you a dude or a, a girl? <laughs> I don't even know. All right, we're going twice. Late night wants them for eight. Late nights back in. Oh no, not really. I don't know what kind of answer that is. I don't know okay. what that answer means either. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh no, not really. <laughs> oh, I sent you a text earlier. It's a dude. It's a dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's so, right. Okay. It's a guy. See, that's what I thought. Seriously, I'm not. I'm not usually this like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michelle's out. We're Michelle's out. Yeah, Kathy, to give everybody a chance, I I have another bid. I have another another lot coming lot. up. Yep. So it's at eight. It's at eight right now, um, Kathy. If too much lag here, is there is there a big lag? There has been earlier today. I, I'm not sure about now. Thank you, Kathy. Sorry, just to give everybody a chance, because I only, this is all I have is these few that I have left, right. and then that's KK's it. KK's back in at 10. Okay. Late night's out. We're going to sell them to Kathy. Go on once. Lot number 51 for $10 for the turbines. Seriously, my marker is done. Okay, this lot is going to KK. Okay, let me see what the next lot brings. Okay, there's not enough to do two lots. So this is what's left. You get blue, turquoise, blue again, a different shade of blue, which is brand new in the box, and black. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. There's five of them. And that's the last of them. This is lot number 51. No. Um, this was KK, who's 51. For $10. for the turbans. This is lot number 52. Five of them left. Michelle is out late night. Comes in at 10. We're gonna call it late night. What number 52? Pamela comes in at 11. Pamela is at 11. One new one, black, two blues, and a turquoise. Late night is out. $11 to Pamela. Thank you, Pamela. All right, so I found some too, Donna. Some turbans? <laughs> some turbans? <laughs> who, who said a Walmart bag wouldn't work? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Shriker. I think it was Shriker that said it. <laughs> So funny. All right, so I brought a bunch of bags of plush, but you guys don't want plush. So 
Um, let me go back to, oh, this is, this is actually, oh, here, let me, let me do this one here. This is a brand new broadcloth Puritan men's pajamas size medium. $5 start. Medium fits a 38.40 with a 32 waist and 145 pounds to 175 pounds. Men's pajamas, $5 start. Looks like it's a new old stock. Looks like it's old. But it's brand new in the bag. Susan Arrington's gonna take it. What do you think, a couple more rounds, Donna? One more round? Yeah. Okay. I just have a few more clothes I want, I have a, Camper of clothes I want to get through. Perfect. And then um, and then that's it. Getting tired. Well, it is Monday tomorrow, you know. You gotta to work tomorrow, today? Absolutely. Okay, this is pretty cool, you guys. This shirt. This came out of the um, rich person's house. And as you can see, it's a size large. It's Seascapes. And it has what looks like a boutique tag on it, but it doesn't have a price on it. But you got to see how awesome this is. It's terry cloth. <coughs> I love the color. It's spotless. It's, I, it's men's for sure. But it's very, very thick yellow terry cloth and it's called s embroidered on it is c scapes yeah c scapes and it's all terry cloth five dollars to start on this nice to maybe you know put on getting out of a pool i'm sure that's what they bought it for. Short. Terry cloth. Men's seascapes. New with tags. Right? I don't, not, not this one in particular, because this one still has the price tag on it. But he must have bought it and just decided he didn't want to. Andrea comes in at five. It's not a stain on it. It's in excellent condition. We'll give it to Andrea. No one else. Andrea for five dollars. All right, Andrea, you got it, babe. And off it goes to the pile to be shipped. <clears throat> Next is a pair of Chico's Travelers, size one. Chico's Travelers, size one. And they are like stretched, comfortable, um, 
nice. There's the bottom. They're in excellent condition. Chico's Travelers. $5 start. $5 start on the Chico's Travelers. So size one would be like a size, um, probably like an eight, nine, maybe a 10. Hey, Rebecca, welcome in. What are you doing up so late? Okay, Pamela wants them for five. Anybody else? Six to Barb Lee. These are awesome, you guys. I love Chico's Travelers. Chico's Travelers are a great, 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 great um, uh, pants. Just throw on. She's shipping. Good for you. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Barb Lee is at six. Should we sell it? Pamela, let us know. Let us know, let us know. Pamela's at seven. Barb is out. Pamela's going to get them for seven. Pamela Landrum. For seven dollars. Going once. Okay. Going twice. All right. The next. So to Pamela. This is a vintage shirt. It still has the price on it. Thirty dollars. It's LD Sport International. LD Sport International. It's a size large. It's very transparent. It almost looks like it's a golf shirt. LD Sport. LD Sport. $5 start. Hey, them flipping critters. That's a... Uh, can you put your hand through one side of it to show how thin it is? Yeah, it's very thin. Yeah, definitely for uh, you can't for really, you can't out, see outdoor activities for sure. Yeah, cool, a cool shirt. Cool. Yeah, you can't see, but it's very, very transparent. Yeah, to keep you cool. And those short short sleeves will work really well for golfing as well. Yeah, it looks like a golf shirt. Mm -hmm. It's black, solid black. Yeah, it's more like a yeah, it's black. I was gonna say charcoal, but no, it's black. Size large, but it's got the formal collar, you know, like they, they mm -hmm. wear on golf courses. Okay. No, no interest in the shirt. We're going to pass it. She just typed it in. Give it just a little bit. We, we're on about a 30 second lag. You got five from Susan. Susan Arrington wants it. Lot number 56. Anybody else, or should we sell it to Susan? Yes, no, gotta go. Sold, sold, sold. You finally get a large, and I'm in, <laughs> not in the chat. What's that? I said, you finally come across a large, and I'm not in the chat. I'm in, in the show. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. This is not your style. Yes, late night. It was a large. Large, yep. Oh, Janine typed it in. Susan Arrington. Susan Arrington. 
Okay, this next one is a Zenergy by Chico's. Chico's. Yep, it's Zenergy by Chico's. And it is a size cutout. If the size is cut out, so I'm going to guess it's a medium. But it's another Chico's top. <clears throat> it's probably a two. Women's, correct? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a size two. But they cut the um they cut the tag off. Five dollars to start for this energy. This is my lot number fifty seven. It's energy. And that's um fifty seven lots today? Yeah. Wow. 57 between Mr. Buys a lot and tonight. 57. A lot of them are just, you know, single pieces of clothing. So right. awesome. Donna, charge me and send that church to church to Chris. Susan, honey, I don't th that's not Chris's style. It's too small. It? Huh? The it, collar. I don't I don't think you'll like the collar on it. Okay. Do you want it? Well, if you say I won't like it, then no. I don't think you'll like it. I'm being Thank you, mother. Susan. But not Thank you, Susan. You're so sweet. I'm being like your mother now. Ma Mama says I can't wear that shirt. <laughs> I'll let you know if I come across a shirt that I think Chris will like. <laughs> but, but thank you so much, Susan. I appreciate He's it. He's not an extra large. He's a skinny mini. He's like, he's like a large. No, I'm large. Definitely a large size. Yeah, he's large. He's not an extra large. He's... um. He's got a slender, a slender physique. Um, but thank okay. you, Susan, for the offer. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Susan, Susan, you know, I spent like, I spent four days with Christopher. So like, I, I know. I'm, now I'm calling him Christopher. Like I'm like, I'm really his mom. <laughs> 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 Don't argue with mama, Susan Arrington says. <laughs> Right, <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> Good night, Pamela. Thank you so much for being here, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay, you guys, what about this? Uh, the Chico's Chico's is energy five dollars to start. Anybody interested? Night, ooh, ah. Good night, Amber. Good night, sweetheart. Okay, I'm gonna pass on this. Put it in my past pile. And I'm gonna bring this one. I'm just trying to get through this hamper. Here's another Zenergy. This one is a size three. That's my size. I like that one. So Long you said, sleeve. You said oh. with the Chico's, there's a different conversion, right? Um, yes. So three is like a size like 16, okay. like 14, 16 <clears throat> for a three. Yeah, I remember you had said that. Which is really confusing. I don't understand why they can't well, they standardize own, brand yeah, size. They have their own size. Yeah. Yep, they made up their own size. One, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. And then they have their travel elements lies size which is like their plus size line where the the clothes are a little bit larger than their one twos and threes yeah and then they have this zenergy line also any interest in this chico's three is a 16 yeah see mimi knows it's really cute and it has it on the um sleeves too. The print, yep. Yeah. Sure does. Okay, we'll pass on that. I have um another pair of Chico's Travelers size one. Who bought these? The Chico's Travelers. Um it was Pamela. Pamela, are you still here, honey? Do you want another pair? You paid seven. Do you want two pairs for 14? I believe she's already gone. She's probably already gone. Size one, yeah. 
Anybody else? Size one Chico's. What was the number on this one? The price? This one is a size one and it starts at five. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these black pants and these two Chico's tops. This one and this one, this is all Chico's. Chico's, 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 and I'm gonna start all of this at $5. For all of it? Three pieces. Wow. Three pieces for $5 to start. <clears throat> I think my chat has frozen. Jill, this these would be perfect for you for work, honey. These would be so comfortable. These Chico's pants. Jill's in. You want them, Jill? Nobody else? Yeah, I think we're really lagging on the chat. All right, sell them to Jill. Jill's going to get them. You got Andrea at six. Andrea just came in. Darn it, Jill. Sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Jill's back in at seven. All right. Thank you, Jill. Jill, these are great work clothes for you. All of these. Nice and comfortable. Can she see them again? Yes. You've got size one Chico's Travelers pants. Excellent, like new condition. And then you have a long sleeved, three quarter sleeve Zenergy by Chico's, which is a probably a two. And then you have the uh, Zenergy, which is a three with that style on it. Well, Jill, it's the whole package. You have to take the purple one. Unless you want me to leave the purple one behind. Late night says, thank you. So we got Jill at seven. We didn't in or out from Andrea Baker. Andrea's out. Sell them to Jill. Jill, would you prefer this? An August silk, beautiful little cardigan. Um, I don't think it's long enough for me. I like to wear long. Do you want this one instead? You like this one? It's cute, right? All right, so I'll put the purple one back. She said and yes. Okay, and, and then we'll do the blue, the black, and the gray for you, Jill. For, um... Seven dollars. Sweet. All right. Are we done? You want to do something else? <coughs> Are you done with, with your hamper? I'm not, but you know what? I don't have to finish it tonight. I wanted to, but I can finish it during the week sometime. It's fine. It's it's one o'clock in the morning. And I have more than my share of shipping to do tomorrow, so. Right. Right, you want to call it? It's up to you. I'll call it unless unless you want to show one or two more things. <sighs> you know, I always have stuff, right? Always. It never ends. Well, Ever. go ahead. Get something. Ever. All right. Do something small. All right. 
Moss. Hey, Robert. Zombie bargain hunters in town. What's up, zombie? Thanks for coming in. We miss you. All right, so everyone should know this brand. Oh my God, they're tiny. Yes. So they're magnets. Oh, they're magnets. But authentic Fiesta wear. Wow, those are so cute, Chris. And look at how pretty they look on the board. Right? Let me get the camera. They look so pretty on the board, but you need to get a board that doesn't have screws in it. Well, it, you got to put the table together some kind of way, right? Well, you should just go get a nice, like, uh, like a like a four by six piece and put it down and okay. show on top of that. I think it looks really pretty on the board. When I move into the, um, into my garage. Studio. Into studio yeah. yeah. When I finally get to move in there, whenever my husband finishes it, I'm going to do one of these down cameras. Yeah. How's that going by the way? Well, we had yeah. some, we had some obstacles that came up right now. Um, Oh, thanks, Joy. I love late night too. It's just that I trash during the the day. He um he well, we had the obstacle with the fence, so we had to redo the fence and then um what, a fence in the garage. No, 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 no. We we were forced to replace our fence in our backyard by the yeah. HOA. You should have called me. I know somebody. Well, he does too. Him and Massimo banged it out in no time at all. <laughs> Right. So then, so then now we're remodeling the Jack and Jill bathroom upstairs in our house. Oh, okay. We had to remodel it. So you just went, went in one project into the another? Yeah. So my, so my project got put on pause. On, on hold. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. So, but they're almost done with it. The only thing left is they have to do, um, the vanity and then the the tile on the floor and then they'll be finished with it. When I say they, him and Massimo are doing it. But all yeah. the hard all yeah. the hard work is done. So yeah, the, uh, the tile takes a while for sure. Yeah. So we're just looking. Hi Talbert's mom. So we're looking for a vanity and I want to buy like just a secondhand vanity. I don't want to go out and buy an expensive vanity because we're gonna sell this house. A single single vanity or double? No, single, but oversized to single. Gotcha. Yeah, like a big one, because the bathroom's big. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, hopefully, I mean, the long-term plan is in the next, you know, we're always looking, but in the next year and a half or so would be to sell this house. Like, the market right now is crazy. Like, the homes in this community, they don't even, like, make it on the market and they're sold right yeah it's no, so, Houston, Houston, same way right now it's so desirable like and it's just the the, the whole housing market is like boom 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 the and, problem is is and and the, because home, everyone everyone's leaving new york <laughs> the home value yeah and the, our home value has gone way up but where do we you know we can't find something even if we were to do even like a lateral move there's nothing like in our price range that's even a lateral move. And Similar, I really yeah. I really want an outbuilding. So and I want to be outside. Yeah, you, I mean you you've garage. got to have some storage space for sure. Yeah, I yeah, I'm at the point where I have to because I I'm paying over seven hundred dollars a month for storage fees right now. Yeah. I mean that's easily a payment for a outbuilding. I, I would rather put that money towards a mortgage. Exactly. Oh, thank you, Carla. Sorry. And, and they're just bidding away, by the way. Oh, I was just chit chatting. Sorry. I didn't even realize it. This there no you go. Problem. They're just bidding away. Sorry about that. I guess we're on dollar increments tonight. But yeah, no, it's uh, great. And I, I really want you to finish that studio, or y'all to finish that studio. So you can have mm -hmm. a. Uh, a workspace. Yeah. All right. So anyway, real Fiesta, as you can see, genuine Fiesta accessory. 
fridge magnets. These are ceramic. <laughs> I did start the dollar thing. I am a rebel. And Robert, you couldn't pay me to live where you live. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but no way. I could never be that far away from the ocean. What is Sandy Kirk saying? Show one plea plus lot one more. What does that mean? I don't know what she means. Mm, show one plus lot. Show one plus lot. I'm not one sure what more. she means either. Does that half? Yep, half an hour goes with it. Nice. Oh, show one more plush. plush. Lot. Yeah, she wanted to type in plush, but it came in plus. That's what threw us out. Ah, uh, plush. Gotcha. So, yeah, these are uh, really unique pieces. I've never seen these before. Ever. Me neither. And did these come from that estate as well? Yes. Wow. Shit, cool stuff, huh? It is from the boxes that I've gone through so far, it is yeah. amazing. Is that? And it's just going to be, I mean, for the next six months, this is what we'll be selling this kind wow. of quality stuff. <clears throat> wow, beautiful. And so she just collected things. She didn't, she wasn't a reseller. Both, it, 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 both the, him and her, the, the couple. Donna Summers is in the house. Hey, Summers. Hi, honey. No losers in those boxes. That's Kansas for you. No losers? Yeah, well, I have come across some lower end stuff, but it was still collectible stuff, but just not the... Uh, the nicer stuff, we'll call it. So, all right. So, to late night. Those are so cool. Yeah, no, I really like those pieces. Mm -hmm. I love them. So we'll call that the Fiesta Lot of Four. Plus, the half dollar goes with it. And they're ceramic. Yes, ceramic fridge magnets. Nice. Wow. Right there. Those are awesome. All right. Let's try these. See what happens. These came from her too? Yes. And these are, these are shell. They're shells. And are they, what are they? Uh, that's in, that's engraved. engraved. It's engraved. engraved. Yep. So you can still see. Um, how it's got the tiger print on this tiger show. Yeah. You can still see some of the, the tiger on that white part. Wow, those so, are amazing. So once you cut it away, you get that beautiful purple <laughs> underneath that outer tiger look. So you think that purple is natural to the shell? Absolutely, 100%. Let me see the inside of the shell. Oh my God, you're right. Yep, once you cut away that outer tiger white and brown spots that's the color you get those are phenomenal there's no artist signature on them or anything not that i've seen no and they're really well made uh, with the you so you got the giraffe the palm trees with a sunset that's my favorite and then you got the eagle land or landing on a branch wow. yeah cowrie show tiger cowrie is exactly correct those I bought the same thing earlier. Are you did you show these before today? Craig, did you have another set of these? Joy said I bought the, the same thing earlier. Hold on, hold on, Joy. I did show these earlier, but let me double check real quick. My paperwork here. Oh, maybe you brought them back out forgetting that you already sold them. Well, maybe maybe someone else put them on the wrong table. Hold on, Joy. You flip a couple pages back here. Yeah, Joy would remember. You must have already sold yep. them. Tomorrow. Okay, I do have it down, Joy. All right, y'all didn't see those. 
Oh, good catch, Joy. Thank you, Joy. I'm glad Joy was here. I know. Yeah, that would have been a mess. Yeah, someone put them on the wrong table. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy's like, you're selling, he's selling <laughs> you shit, Joy. <laughs> no, I, I don't resell for non-payment that fast, Joy. <laughs> I'll give you some time to pay for sure. Ed said, luckily you were here, Joy. I was going to snatch those up. Yeah, Joy, no, what did you pay like, for them? No, those are amazing. Uh, she paid uh, 15 earlier, which is a great price. Darn it. Amazing price. Riker was going to go, he was going to bid 100 on them. See? <laughs> no, amazing price. Thank you, Joy. I was really glad you're here because that would have been a mess. See what happens when JJ puts stuff on the wrong table. All right, so we got some cards. Big stack. So they're in the uh, protective sleeves that go into a book. And they are Pro Set Racing 1992. Joy, you might be able to flip those shells right here on the chat. Looks like right, yeah, you can sell, you can sell them right here in the chat. Them. Oh, here, what is that? Of course, I want a commission. <laughs> right? There's some uh, <laughs> bumper stickers in there. Mark Martin. Just randomly in the middle of this pile. So, yeah. Cliff is in the house. Hey, buddy. Hey Cliff, your um your big ball is sitting on my shelf. It's gonna go out tomorrow. You, that pending finally cleared. So I've I've got it ready to go out to you, honey. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 31 pages of these. <clears throat> Looks like nine per page. I think they're all single sided. So, 15 bucks. Let's go. $15 for the NASCAR racers. Yep. Thank you, Joy. Thank you for being here, Joy. Appreciate I do. I do, Sandy. I, I'll, I'll send that out tomorrow. I ran out of a certain type of candy. That's why um, I didn't. Um, sell it out. I, I ran out of turtles, but tomorrow I have two left. I think that I have to get out candy boxes, so I'll get those out tomorrow. I what want woodbine girl. Are you selling candy now too? I well, no. I did these like awesome goodie bags. I sold. I don't know how many I sold. I sold like maybe eight or nine of them or something. Um, oh, Shriker, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. Mwah. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, yeah, I did. You know what I did is I went and I bought like, you know, those chocolates with the liqueurs in them. Yeah, mm -hmm. the floral wrap. Uh -huh. I got I got those, and I got the Danish cookies, and I got turtles, and I got um, um, the Belgium chocolate gold coins, and Godiva chocolates, and. Uh, Giadelli Gia, Gia chocolates, and I did a pouch of each chocolate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, with some ribbon and the Danish butter cookies, and I put them in like one of those gift bags that I have back here, and I sold them for thirty eight dollars a bag. They're really nice. nice. I mean, I'm, I I can still make more if anybody's interested in them. I mean, you might get them for Christmas. If not, you'll have them for New Year's. Thirty-eight dollars for a bag. Um, I yeah, don't have like a really bag. nice, really nice gift set. Yeah, or just even I just thought you know for people that like live alone and you know usually um, usually those those candies come in like huge quantities and like this gives you a nice sampling of you know it was like seven different nice quality chocolates. Right. So. You guys, $38, if anybody's interested in one of those gift bags, I'm going to be shipping out the last of them tomorrow. All right, we got no NASCAR fans, racing fans in here tonight. 
<laughs> Talbert's mom says, crap, I just gained 12 pounds thinking about it. Right? <laughs> thinking about the chocolate. <laughs> They're all good. They're all nice chocolates. I would have had enough if the Vikings didn't tackle the chocolates. True story. They ate those turtles like it was going out of style. Oh, the that's what the uh, peanuts, right? The, and yeah. The the, yep. The it's, turtle. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah, I like it. The peanuts good... with the caramel, yep. the chocolate. Yeah. All right. We'll pass it. No problem. We'll find some race fans. Susan, I think so. I think I got yours out. I'll have to check tracking. I'll check in the morning. I'll make myself a note. All right, and we'll try one more. You won't call it, Donna. No, I think I'm. I think I'm good. I think I am good. 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 I know. Tell them to stop. People need their stuff by Christmas. Janine, I'm sorry. Oh, oh Talbert's mom made a batch of turtles on Friday. You know, I've never had a homemade turtle. No? Mm -mm. I don't think I have either, to be honest with yeah, you. I've always had store bus. So. Yeah, your list for tomorrow is pretty long. My list for <laughs> my list for every day, Jill, is pretty long. Every day. I don't stop. Absolutely. No, but I'll survive first three day in three weeks without stomach issues. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Ed, sure. I would love for you to have a bag of chocolates. Thank you. Yeah, see? <laughs> Tower's mom says she has to make some next year. She's already candied out for this year. She's done. Chris, come to think of it, those weren't my trolls before, were they? <laughs> Laugh out loud. No, they were Are weren't. you sure? Positive. You bought the Christmas trolls earlier, Joy. <laughs> Joy. Yeah. Oh, Janine. Maybe somebody will. <laughs> oh, Kathy, I'm so glad that you like it. Oh, did she buy some chocolate? Flipping it good. Are you in the chat? Oh, no, I have it. Flipping it good. Are you here? In the chat? Flipping it good is texting me. They must not be in the chat. I think my phone is. Um... Just about done. Kathy said she'll take another one if you're still taking orders. You will, Kathy? Thank you, Kathy. You're very sweet. You're right, I got you down. Will do, Susan. Kathy said make that two orders. Oh, Kathy, thank you. Two for Kathy. Thanks, Kathy. Hey, did she already got one in the mail or got one from you? Yeah, she already got one from me. Yeah, so and she liked it. A double order, reorder. She, she was eating it. Well, it's nice because you get a nice little sampling. Kathy, I haven't tried the liqueur ones because there wasn't any left. I put them all in bags. Was the, was the liqueur good? There's like vodka and, you know, all different ones, all different. The ones um, that are um, 
inside the chocolate, right? The liqueur yeah, there's, in, there's inside chocolate. the chocolate. Yeah, yeah, and inside is the liqueur. Yeah, I wanted to try them, but I didn't have any left after I finished my orders. Janine said ship hers first tomorrow. I will. I will, Janine. Them flipping cruders. Yeah, it's a little cool in here tonight. Oh, it's not really that cold. It's probably about 45. <laughs> Ed wants to know, Joy, how about I send you a bag of those chocolates for the show? Oh, there you go. You got to trade. <laughs> Double up. How much are the chocolates per order? 38. 38. Yeah. Awesome. $38. I mean, I'm really not making any money on them because the chocolates that I'm using are all like everything. They're high end brands. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. They're all high, high end brands. So I just kind of did it as like a, a, like a courtesy, you know, just a treat for, for everybody. And, you know, if I, if I mix it in with something that they've already ordered, it, it doesn't cost me anything to ship out because I, I can do combined shipping. Um, but that's the only room I gave myself when I priced it out. I gave myself eight dollars to cover shipping cost. Right. So I wouldn't have to pay, you know, for the shipping cost. Because you know, money's tight, you know, for us, it always is. So yeah, so Shriker, yeah. So that's why they build warehouses next to railroads. Get to hear that. Um, say that again. So Schreiker said he's looking at, at leasing some warehouse space or a warehouse and Look it's next to the railroad. So he looks forward to, or he's looking forward to what he has to listen to. Cause he just oh, heard, I love it. he just heard that train go by again. Yeah, so yeah. I love it. That's why that most properties near railroads are commercial is because oh, yeah. people can't live next to the railroad. Shriker, I, I love it because I, I've told this story before. So sorry, you guys that have already heard it, but Shriker's new. And so when my kids were little, especially Denali, my son that passed away, um, he loved trains. Like we have his entire Thomas the Train set. Like he, that was his passion. He loved trains. And so when we moved down here to Florida, the kids were the children were two, three, four, and five. So they were babies. They were little. And um, we have a lot of trains down here, a lot of train tracks down in our area. So big freight trains that go by, like mega freight trains that like it takes sometimes 15 minutes for the train to go by. They're coming all the way from up north, carrying all that stuff down to Miami to go on the cargo ships to go to all the South American countries, right? So anyways... We would um, we would race up to the to the light to watch, the, you know, roll down all the windows. And he used to love the horn, and love the train. And then we used to like, we used to like. There's a road. It's called A1A that runs along the train tracks. And we would like, I would race really really fast, like trying to beat the train because the train goes really really fast. And I would like try to keep up. The kids would laugh, and then. If we were like right at the railroad crossing and the, the arms were down and the, the box cars would be going by and they'd have, you know, stuff written on them, the shipping companies and, and the kids didn't read back then. And I used to say to the kids, oh, and that one says it's filled with bubble gum and that one says it's filled with trampoline and that one says it's filled with baby dolls and i used to like make up all this stuff and and the kids loved it and the kids used to be like what does that one say and i that one has puppies inside of it and the kids <laughs> oh my god they loved it they couldn't wait they couldn't wait for the train to come because it was like their favorite thing and i loved that time just sitting watching the train go by with with the with the kids when they yes, so that, the a1a you're talking about yeah, so, on A1A. Really? Yeah, because so when, when I came back from Key Largo, yeah, I went through Miami to go to Little Havana for lunch to yeah. go to a Cuban place, and I was on A1A for a little and got stopped by a train. Yeah, <laughs> and it I was, was thinking of that story the whole time. I was sitting there waiting on that train. You were, you were thinking of that story yep. that I told about the children when they were little. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then the, and then every once in a while, you know, the box cars would come by that were like graffitied, you know, on them. Some of them would just have like right. company writing. 
but the ones that were like had graffiti on them, I used to like make a really big deal about what was inside that car, you know, with all the special. bright colors on it. Yeah, that was like really special ones. They loved that. They loved it. I love doing it. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Chris, thanks for coming on last minute. I no love problem. I love when you come on. I love spending time with you. And um, thank you for everyone that supported me tonight. And thank you for all the super chats. Um, Donna, the traveling box will be coming out soon. All right, honey. And thank you, Janine, for helping moderate. And Mama G, if you're still listening in the background, thank you so much for all your work. Um, tonight and today and all the support. And did I forget to thank anybody? I don't know. I feel like I'm at the Oscars. <laughs> everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Mwah. I love you guys. Thank you for the for the support. Honestly, I um it's greatly appreciated. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm.